start streaming. Outstanding. Bingo card salon. That was my fault. I should maybe not have done that. It's the Cleo and Bingo show. <laughs> oh, I'm very tired now. Very tired. I'm going to move my yeah, mic away I'm, from I'm, I'm sure that me. we'll only be funnier when we're both tired. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're known for being hilarious when we're tired. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Mike's a bit... You know what? I'm just moving the chair. I'm going to okay. move the chair away. That seems that that seems better. That seems easier to do than try and move the boom mic. Cheers. Ah. Oh. Uh. Okay. I've got a few pieces that I didn't really quite figure out last week that I think I have a better idea of, like how mm -hmm. they're actually supposed to work, like in terms of some of the gates based on looking yep. at a bunch of pictures and stuff from inside the building. Uh, or inside that seems the courtyard. reasonable. Yeah. Um, Hello, everybody who's just arrived. I can see you all cruising up. Um, I'm just going to start peeling off the, the the layers of tape that I have. Yeah, I should probably turn my chat off emote only mode. I mean, yeah, that's probably sensible yeah. now that you're here. Yeah, now that I'm here, just as a treat. As a treat, you get to talk to Joe. Or Sometimes. each other, because I might be busy talking to Cleo, so don't get your hopes up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the talking to me do is is a, a job yeah, um, it's, that it's... takes your full attention. You know, well, here's the thing, though, is, like, you don't want to screw something up this important, you know? <laughs> How many people get to do paper craft with me and zombie Cleo in the morning? Oh, I guess it's the entire audience. Hope you got your paper craft, folks. Everybody, if you don't have your paper craft, go get it. Yeah. I don't care what it is. It could just be a piece of paper with the word craft written on it, but you need it. Oh. Hey, Silver Chippy has resubscribed for five months. Thank you. I was going right. to say, I could have one of those. Let me just find a piece of paper. Oh, here's a piece of paper, and here's a pen. And now I just got to spell the word craft. Wow, this is... <laughs> Making fun of my accent again. Terrible handwriting. <laughs> on my part. For some reason, Joe, I don't think... My, my my gut feeling for you is that you probably don't have neat handwriting. I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't but, know. Uh... Uh, let me let me rotate the camera. Oh, that's always fun. All the options are grayed out. Yeah, OBS. My setup in OBS is so weird. A bunch of normal features just don't function. It's just like no, no, not today. You want to rotate a camera? <laughs> You've already gone too far. Like. That's not an option available to you at this point. I, yeah, well, I can't rotate my camera either, so that's why I'm I'm coming up from the top. Ooh. I'm get, also getting stuck on the, the, the roof of my castle now. It's so large. It is a big chuffin' castle. Mm -hmm. Is it intentional the jump scare wasn't turned off? I do believe that's because Cam is asleep. <laughs> Cam is the one that turns things off, not me. He <laughs> has more care for me than I have for myself, so... You know. Let me, let me try and write neatly now. Now that I've got the camera oriented properly. Although this pen is terrible, so. Okay, I'm all I, I can't see. I haven't. I, I haven't. Um, I'll be honest, Joe. I'm not logged into you. Oh, well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, honest, I'm not looking I, at your I, video I'm... either, so. I'll, I'll, I'll log into you just. Just. Uh, cause, because yeah. cause I can. Just because you can. Yeah, there you go. There's a paper with the word craft on it. That's yep. not the worst handwriting I've ever seen, but I did teach children. So, yeah. Oh take it with a pinch of salt. <laughs> let, me just, let me just dot this E real quick. I'm so tired. I'm like, H-E-L-L-O. Oh, I should dot the... I, no, I should an... dot the I on hello. Oh my well, goodness. The thing Joe. is though, the thing is hello and hills are very similar in cursive and my brain just was like dotting the It's my name. It's my name. My name is hello. Joe, hello. <laughs> Joe, hello. So for anybody hello, who's Joe. trying to figure out how tired a stream this is. Neither of us have had a particularly good night's sleep at the moment. So, you know, yeah. eh. Yeah, I was up knocking uh, out some stuff for a freelance client on a, one of their servers pretty late, so. Mm. Yeah, how it goes sometimes, it yep. is how it goes. 
at the moment I'm just peeling off I must have put like half of a roll I didn't put half a roll of tape I've still got a fairly chonky roll of tape to be honest mm -hmm. so okay so one of the things I've I'm... seen the full range of handwriting from zero to passable yes there we go what are you going to say, Joe? You're going to say something. I was going to say, I'm going to put this you. little building on here, this little round building, because I keep forgetting to glue it on because I was terrified it would fall off. But now at this point, like, why not? It's an easy first actual it's step. an easy first job. Thank yeah. you, Bluetooth Goldfish, who has resubscribed, saying thanks so much for the last six months. Yeah. I can't believe I've been doing this for six months because I started and then I quit my job. Mm -hmm. And it's only been six months. Yeah. So I, I I basically, as soon as I was like, yeah, I can do this. I quit my job like immediately, yeah. immediately. So it was like, it's great. We're doing it. Finishing off the castle. I've still got a whole section down the front here to do. Like there's a whole p set of pathways and I've got little towers to make. And we all know how much I love the little towers. Oh yeah. The little towers are your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I don't. I think they should stay. Mm. Okay. Oh, I thought I turned emote only chat off. And I did. I think I just typed the words emote only off without the slash at the beginning. But then it didn't even oh, show well, up in chat because it was an emote only mode. Well done, Joe. Well done, Joe. That's, that's impressive. Even for me, that's impressive. I may yeah. not finish it, but we're getting close. Thank you, Tarsaurus, for giving out five community gift subs. I really do appreciate that. Oh, we got a hype train. Choo-choo. Oh, let me get my whistle. Oh, where is it? Oh, where's the whistle? <laughs> there we go. Thank you, everybody. I do appreciate every, every little thing that you do for me because it's a lot. And Roletti Craft has resubscribed. How have you not squashed it yet? No, no, no. The important thing is, how have my cats not squashed it yet? Because, you know, they're not supposed to get up on the table, but they do. Every little no, jump scares are not turned off. So, um, too. every bit you of know. bits you cheers summed up. <laughs> is this on camera? Hey, Anna. Last time you'll see the crafting live for a while, so you wanted to help. Oh, that's so nice. Why you got you got like a real job, like for real people? Because I don't know if we can allow that. Last life was awesome. Thank you. I enjoyed it. It doesn't do too well in the beginning, um, or at least for, uh, third life didn't. So sometimes these things take a while to get hyped up, and then oh. you know. Yeah, Jevin tried to upload a video yesterday, and he's just like, why is oh, no one watching my video? And I was like, oh, well, you know, Jeff, it's Bill Murray's birthday, <laughs> and so everybody's partying right now. Like, I never upload on September 21st anymore. It's just a known statistical problem. <laughs> the thing is, we don't mean to do it. It's just a case of it's got to go out sometime. Well, and the thing is, I used to up. Tuesday used to be my favorite day to upload. Obviously, this week I'm so far behind on the castle because I moved every part of it that that's not going to happen. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, like, uh, it completely ruined uploading on Tuesdays for me. Uh, Sorry! you got to pick a day, though. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to be uploading. No, and it's fine because it's, it's not like, like, it's not like those, those numbers matter to me. But, like, it is kind of one of those things where yeah. it's like, I would like people to watch my videos. I would like people to have time to watch my videos occasionally. Yeah. Um, oh! Okay, so this uh, one's WF Kiwi has gifted community gift subs. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. I've, I've got my blue spatula stuck in my glue, so... Uh, I'm going to just make new ones. It's fine. Mm -hmm. This is fine, guys. This is fine. The glue boat! The glue boat is mostly glue at this point. It's fairly chunky. And it was made out of really thin tape. Speaking of special days, though, Claire, do you know what today is? Astronomically mm -hmm. speaking, I know you're a geologist, so so you spend a lot more time. Oh, looking I don't, at the I don't pay attention to the skies. Yeah, it is the uh, autumnal equinox. Oh, yeah. 
I should know that, but you know, I only really pay it pay attention to the winter solstice. Gotcha. So you know, that's because my dad was born on the winter solstice, and mm. dear God, that does explain everything about him. Mm -hmm. um, background music title. Um, I'm I'm using Game Chops. Um, um, on YouTube, they allow. Um, it, it's a it's a streaming channel, but they have music that's available for streamers. So it's always on YouTube. Go to Game Chops. This is the video game lounge music. And it's free! Mm -hmm. Which is the best thing for somebody who's, you know, trying to stream on a budget. Okay, so where was I in the instructions? I... I stopped marking them off. I should probably continue. Oh, you, see, my instructions are on a PDF, so I can't mark them off. Oh, wait. Also, yeah. I've been curving this the wrong way. That was a mistake. Right, I know I've done that. Oh, boy. And this wall is going to be... The front wall. Ramp 30. Hang on. The wall at 67, surrounding the castle garden. Last piece, 67G. And then 68 to 68 I to be mounted over the surrounding wall on the floor of the bastion. After you've glued the front front wall 69, insert the ramp 70 into the floor of the bastion. Where's my castle? Okay. Okay, so I think I've got to do, put a piece in there, which means I've got to fold these bits. And then have them glued. I absolutely cannot tell if the flat side of this wall is the low end or the high end here. How long have we been building this castle? Six weeks. Forever? Hey, Forever. Matthew Lavis, thank you for the first tip of the day. Who says, for Ty Wit Tan, who wishes they could donate. Well, thank you very much. Aww. For making that wish come true. Please direct your attention here to where slot 8 would be if I was busy putting the hot in the hot bar. It's time to say, howdy y'all. Crow Hill's here, expanding as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. dee 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 After you glue the front wall 69 to put, insert ramp 70 into the floor of the bastion. So, does this go under there like that? And first glued seven. All right, so this is part 70. This is 78. This is 71. Okay, so 21. Step and put it around the floor. Okay, so I've got to put this together and then stick it in there. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Hold on. Uh, okay. Thribologist has subscribed. That's a great name. I don't know what it means, but it sounds cool. Can't deny it sounds cool. Oh, I see how to do it. I see how to do it. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. I can do this. I can do this. I'm starting to get my fight. head wrapped around this. This is this is crazy how this this all this uh, driveway stuff interacts. But it, I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm on driveway stuff too today. I think. I so... think I'm gonna I'm gonna. Take a quick break from the driveway stuff, though. I'm putting these nice little stairs that lead down to the beer garden. The beer garden? Is that what it is? Mm. Well, I don't know if it was originally designed to be a beer garden by the architect, but, like, if you look, um, there, there's... So, you know how down the stairs from the armory, there's that little garden there? Mm-hmm. At least when most of the photos I've seen are taken, which admittedly might be in October, they seem <laughs> to have a bunch of stalls that sell beer and picnic tables there. So I was assuming... That was a beer garden. I see. But like I said, that, that makes sense. any garden can be a beer garden in October in Germany. Any so. any garden can be a beer garden whenever you like, so long as you have beer. Yeah. So, you know. It, it's really about a, it's, it's a supply and demand question more than anything. <laughs> oh. We always demand beer. Except I don't. I don't always demand beer. I don't like beer. It's beer's meh. Even as alcohol goes, it is it is not nice. It really depends on whether or not you're drinking good beer or not. Like, I don't want to sound no, no, snobbish, no, no. but, like, it's one of those things where, like, literally, like, the bottom of the barrel stuff is just for college students 
still and has intentionally like no flavor in order to keep the price down you know i have uh drunk many beers joe mm -hmm. i have tried it many times because people keep on telling me stuff like that and it all tastes wank i'm sorry That's it just fine. does no, everybody's got different tastes. I'm just saying, I thought just that lying. I hated beer for a very, very long time. But it turned out I just hated the beer that people had around them <laughs> for a very long time. The free beer that yeah. I got gifted. Yeah, free beer that people sucked. had at their homes. It turns out I'm just a very ungrateful guest. <laughs> but, like, when I buy beer, I like it. When I buy beer, I like it. Why is it worse when it's come from somebody else? Yeah, oh, oh, because they don't spend money on good beer. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I felt like I was forgetting something earlier. Yeah, I forgot to put the, um, the 20 on the abacus. I mean, since it was a full expansion... Like, keeping track of the overage didn't matter, but yeah. I feel like, is my voice deeper than usual, or maybe I'm just really that tired? I, I think I think you are just that tired, Joe. So, uh, uh... Yeah, it's like, I can't tell, it's like, is there something in my throat, or am I just, like, hearing myself funny? I, th I think, I think you've, you've got some, some tiredness yeah. mufflers on, I think is what the issue is. Yeah. Okay. I, I, li I like how the fact that today we're both really tired. Yeah. Both really tired. It's fine. Fine, guys. What we're, you arguing about? We're talented. We can we can power through. You know. Okay. Like uh, Stephen Toblowski so when he filmed that Ned Ned Ryerson shot in Groundhog Day. You've seen Groundhog Day, right? I've seen Groundhog Day. I don't remember much about Groundhog Day. Oh, um, there's a part where he's like Phil. Phil Connors? Don't tell me you don't remember me, because I sure as heck fire remember you. Ned? Needle-nosed Ned? Ned the head? Ned Ryerson! You took my sister to prom! That guy. Oh, God. Yeah, apparently, when he, um, when he filmed that, uh, he had been shooting something else in the Midwest, and they, like, called him up and were like, hey, can you do this, this thing, uh, in, in Pennsylvania? Uh, and he's like, well, I'm in, like, Illinois right now or something. And they're like, okay, well, uh, we're going to send a van. We need you to be, uh, we need you to shoot with Bill Murray at, like, 6 a.m. And he's just like, Bill Murray? What? And he's like, I get done shooting my current thing at, like, midnight. And they're like, well, that's why we're sending the van. You'll be fine. With You'll the, be fine. The van guy will have your lines. It's just like, Okay. Yeah, there, there, there's there's something about entertainers and sleep and stuff that I feel like I understand now. Because mm -hmm. you hear people who are just like, yeah, they had to do those shots at 3 a.m. in a freezing cold lagoon. And I'm just like, I am never doing that. Oh, man. I It's actually like pretty cold out, but there's no lagoon. But yeah, I was going to say like a lagoon would definitely wake me up right now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if we were shooting the paper craft stream in a freezing cold lagoon, I would I would be awake at least. That we would have you that. You would be question. at least awake, but not maybe conscious oh. is the issue. I don't know. I've done a lot of emergency water training. I think I could stay conscious in freezing cold water. Like if I, I think I could stay conscious in freezing cold water. I don't think I'd want to. No, no. I mean, the sort of thing you just want let me drown. To do, it's fine. But like I mean, like <laughs> what is at our age? <laughs> for yourself you're younger than me uh, although you do have a kid and that ages you yeah i feel like you've started treating me more like a peer and less like a child over the last decade and that's been nice <laughs> i mean i was already an adult when we first met okay i and... was also already 25 no 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 you <laughs> you may have been 25 you were not an adult. <laughs> There's a difference there. Mm. I think I'd already been teaching for like five or six years at that point. Oh, Jesus, I would have been as well. I still appreciated you, but as as kind of a... 
Yeah, that's the guy. Thanks, Leah. Kind of <laughs> I think I've learned to, to, I don't know how to put this without it being even more insulting than it already is. I think I've learned to deal with you. Oh, that that's way less insulting. Like everybody, <laughs> everybody who puts up with me on a long enough timeline has to learn to deal with me. Uh, <laughs> I So my daughter's middle name is Amelia. And, and we were mm. driving to the store yesterday and I asked her, I was like, you know, I was thinking like maybe when you ask what the plan is, I could say something like, Here's the deal, Corinna Meal, or here's the deal, ya, Corinna Amelia. What do you prefer? And she's like, Daddy, I think those are both really annoying. And I was like, Well, I could keep workshopping it. What if I try a different accent? Like, what's the deal? Or here's the deal, Corinna Meal. And she's like, No, no, are you, are you? Are you just are you trying to annoy done? me? Is this your goal? And I'm like, no, I thought this would be funny and entertaining for both of us. And she's like, no, it's not. Stop. It's just so irritating. Dad. Just stop. Yeah. Just stop. But anyway, uh, thank you to Alexander Shubin for tipping five. He says, is anyone really an adult? I believe yes. Uh, I don't think everyone is an adult, but I, I don't think that just because many of us grow up around self-absorbed children that no one on the planet experiences adulthood these days. There are a lot of people who deal with a lot of nonsense uh, for a long time, and it ages you. So either way, that puts us 15 away from the next face camera expansion. <laughs> Why is that so funny, Jane? Which, which, which part's still funny? I don't know, just all of it. it just I smooth. thought once the deal Corinna meal was pretty good. <laughs> And or here's the deal, Corinna Meal. Like, I, 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 like you could do either, really. I, although I'm not allowed to do either. She, she, she made that very clear. She's, she's very explicit. Stop that. Just stop. Yeah, she's like that, that. That's just obnoxious. It's not funny or amusing. And I'm like, okay, well, thanks. Okay. I appreciate the honest oh, feedback. This is this is why we workshop things. <laughs> When she's a teenager, she's she is gonna put you down so. Oh, I mean, she already does. Like, it's fine. But like, you know, sometimes I get done with the stream, and she'll be like, I, "You didn't get a lot of money that stream. I think it's because you weren't very good in these ways." And I'm like, "Thank you, Dar." <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's not all about money. And she's like, I know, but like, you always mention that if you don't work, we can't have rent. And I was like, well, that, that's what I'm explaining why I can't watch TV, you know, with you like 24 hours a day or go to the park nonstop. Like, that's like. That's such a point, child. It's you, not me. <laughs> I can see that. I can see. I, I, I would love to be on the fly on a wall on some of your conversations with your kid. It would be hilarious. Yeah. That child has a brain. Yeah, I blame the dad. Uh, I mean, like, from a genetic standpoint, like, I feel like it is fair for me to claim credit. <laughs> at least partial. I'll take partial credit, at least. I'll take partial credit on that one. Uh, American Durock says she wants you to make enough money in streams that you can watch TV with her. I mean, that's true. That is probably what she wants. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, I've explained, like, you know, right now I'm trying to get the this all off the ground, and so I have to work, you know, every night and every weekend and, and stuff. And But, like, it, as, as I get more established, it'll be easier for me to take time off and for us to go on trips where I'm not like, okay, I got to stream from the hotel room now. <laughs> but... Oh, no. I mean, realistically, that's that's just how it's going to be, is uh, we can either never yeah. go anywhere or I can work from the road. So I'm building... Uh, I got my laptop set up um, to run Minecraft. I can run OBS and Minecraft with Minecraft at like 115 frames a second to 120 now. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm hoping to start, once she's vaccinated, you know, start going on some more weekend trips. And, you know, she she'll fall asleep by nine o'clock anyway if she has a big day out even if we're in the same hotel room like hopefully it'll be fine it will be don't don't stress 
Toxic and if Glitter it's not, says, do you, do you like to watch TV with your parents? Yeah, when I was a kid, I would watch Nick at Night with my mom, like, every night when during the summer when I didn't have school. Um, we'd watch I Dream of Genie and The Monsters and uh, what else? Bewitched. See, my, pa my parents did not have that sort of TV habits. It was mm -hmm. either my dad trying to watch, get me to watch James Bond, which I loathe now because mm -hmm. of how many times I had to watch it as a child. And... Um, and my mum used to like watching things like The Antiques Roadshow. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, that is not what a child wants to watch with a parent. Yeah. See, my dad <sighs> used to work, like, the, the late shift, because uh, he, he did, like, warehouse work. Mm -hmm. And so, like, my mum liked us hanging out watching TV with her while she waited for him to come home. I mean, yeah, that seems reasonable. This is not bending the way it should. You know, how come there's no antiques air show where they, like, you know, are out in, like, a field looking at stuff and then, like, all of a sudden, like, a bunch of fighter jets fly over in formation and do loops and fancy tricks? Why don't you pitch that? I'm, I'm actually, I'm sure I was just thinking, this is a tweet. <laughs> this is a tweet? Uh... <laughs> this is definitely, this is definitely a Joe Hill's tweet, nonetheless. Okay, yeah. gotta bring the castle back. Right. Okay. So this thing has got to sit deep in there. I think. Or maybe the other way around? No, it's definitely that way around. Have I put the castle in the wrong way? Probably. This would actually be really good in the age of COVID because you're outdoors. It's easier to maintain distancing. Um, you know, and this is one of my friends is a pilot and uh, he was talking about how um, people have been complaining about the number of like American uh, military like flyovers of cities and stuff uh, during the pandemic as like a salute to our healthcare workers or whatever. But mm -hmm. he was just like, well, the problem is that those pilots need to log hours flying those planes no matter what. Like, or yeah. they will get rusty and then crash those planes and die. And so, like, at a certain point where you've got all these pilots that need to get their hours in, you might as well have them fly over a bunch of people playing with antiques, right? Right. Yeah. Like, this This makes sense to me. Oh, that was, that, that was, that was a question. I'm justifying this. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. No. That that was, that was that right was me going. Okay. Where are you going with this? But yeah. yeah no. No. I see no, where you're going. Antiques air this. show could be a thing. Also, thank you to Tong for tipping seven. That puts us seven away from the next face camera expansion. What I'm doing now is I'm just putting glue on the exposed bits because it dries clear and I don't care anymore. I stopped caring. It's fine. And this little thing sort of dips into the castle. Mm -hmm. So. So I need to put glue on the underside of this part, I think. It's fine. Just... It's it, it, it'll be great, Cleo. I didn't say that. I said it'll be fine. Those are different things, Joe. <laughs> well, then maybe, maybe instead of great, I should say it'll be grand. And then it'll sound sarcastic enough that you'll, you'll just be like, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it'll be grand. It'll be grand. Oh. Cleo, I came up with a bad idea for a way to use the evil X, um, uh, what do you call that, um, IOU. So, uh -huh. okay, I don't know if you have these in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, um, because, like, we barely have them here, but I see people on Twitter talk about them a lot. There's this weird personality test thing called, like, Enneagrams. Yeah. Are you familiar with these at all? Yeah, this, this is the IFTP kind no, of ones. Yeah, it's like Myers-Briggs, but it's on a scale of 1 to 10. But I don't think it's actually a scale. I think it's just 10 different numbers for some reason. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I think I should just get Evil X to film an episode with me where I try to explain Enneagrams to him. 
<laughs> like that's that's the entire thing is Asuma has to put up with me explaining this pseudoscience <laughs> personality thing and ask questions and talk about it with me because it seems like the sort of thing that he would actually like be genuinely curious about but also it's such a silly thing that it's very easy to be skeptical yes <laughs> this might not be the best use of this IOU but I mean I feel like it's something that will make you happy Joe I think it would make me very happy but that's what worries me <laughs> I think it would be really fun you know what Joe if it makes you happy I'm gonna say do it okay. you know Okay, I'm gonna. The the thing is, I haven't actually researched enneagrams yet. I just did a Twitter poll a couple days ago to ask, like, "Hey, people who really like enneagrams, like, would you be offended if I made fun of them?" Basically, and and if and if you would, why are you watching me? Well, yeah. So out of that, let me let me pull the results up. So 900 votes, roughly. Let's round that up to a thousand, just for ease of math. Yeah. Two percent said no. They're too serious. So. That's like twenty people out of a thousand. I feel like I feel like that's safe-ish. Uh, who? Yeah. Who takes enneagrams that seriously? Well, that's the thing, though, is I don't even know if those are serious votes. Those might just be people going, "Haha, I'll pretend I care that seriously about enneagrams." I mean, I mean, if you were a hardcore psychologist and you used them on a daily basis and you thought they were deathly serious. That's the thing is, I don't know if real psychologists even use them. Uh, they do. They okay. do. Um, however, it's... Oh, this is not sticking at all. It's more in research in relation to Enneagrams rather than, you know, actual Enneagrams. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay, I'm going to have to hold this. There's no way around it. Hey, Mutterfutter. Yeah. Glad you could join us. That is a name. It I like is. that name. He says, good morning. This castle is looking rad. Thank you. Yeah, this is our weekly papercraft stream. I'm being joined by Zombie Cleo. Who you can find at twitch.tv slash Zombie Cleo. You don't need to type the hi in the middle. Although it is adorable, and so I wouldn't blame you. Hi. It's annoying is what it is. That's what it's supposed to be. It's, it's supposed to be annoying. Thanks for the biddies. That's the thing, though, Cleo, is I think one of the things that makes you so successful as an entertainer is that even things that you do that are intended to annoy are endearing. I don't know how to take this. In fairness, I might just be projecting. Actually, that might be a, a description of what <laughs> I do. You might just be hoping. No, please let that just be me. The thing is, when I try to annoy people, I'm very successful. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, when I do things on my videos and put things one block out of place, I do that deliberately because I know people will comment on it and I can have a laugh. Well, you're, you're also so... feeding that algorithm. <laughs> true, true. But mostly it's for my own entertainment, but mm -hmm. I do th most things wrong. So, and no one, I, no one's ever going to believe anything different. <laughs> Yeah, I get people saying to me all the time, it's just like, why have you not put that stare the other way around? It's so distracting. And I'm like, Nye. Oh, Literally, yeah, I started, uh, I had this idea for my latest episode to just fill my hot bar with tropical fish. Like, no reason. It doesn't, there's no Do correlation with any of the content of the episode. Do it. Do it. Do it. And then they'll ask why all the tropical fish, and you'll go, I didn't have any tropical fish. Well, what are you talking no, about? No, what I'll probably say is I was fishing for compliments, and clearly <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Ken Arusa has resubscribed. Always nice to catch a stream. This is why we do them, so you can catch them and then. Okay, if I let help go. Help us live. Okay, no, I can't let go yet. This is the worst. These weird curves getting the glue. Like you got it, you gotta hold it in place. Oh, I hate and those things. So you're like I'm. I'm I want to use my keyboard because I'm at a computer, and that's like a thing that I you know do at computers. Mm -hmm. Um, how long have we been working on this? Uh, six weeks. I've been working. It's so been that long. And I each have different models because she bought the last one available in Europe, and I'm not in Europe. And so on her stream, you can see her working on a similar model. 
of the same castle, but like her model is like twice as big and way more detailed. Mine is print at home. So if you wanted to do one of them, you either have to pay money like I did or print one out and pay money for a printer like Joe did. Yeah. Now, in fairness, if the print shop had been competent, I wouldn't have had to buy a printer. Uh, or if I had had time to shop around for different print shops after that one was so incompetent. But, but you had like... time to go to one shop and one shop only. Yeah, well, I, I really... I thought this... It used to be that you could just show up somewhere with a file and print it. Like, especially if it mm -hmm. was a PDF. That was, like, the whole thing. Like, with PDFs, but, like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I used to turn up with a, with a, with a USB stick. Or, in some cases, a floppy disk. Yeah. Have you ever thought we're getting old, Joe? Yep. That, that is one of the fun things you. about um, vector art. I used to print these giant um, banners for the university and mm -hmm. because I did the art in vector. It'd be like 900 kilobyte file for something that would be like 12 feet long and, or 4 feet tall. <laughs> I was like, I could fit this on a floppy disk. I mean, I didn't because I brought it over on a USB stick, but like I could have. You could have put it on a floppy disk. I mean, yeah. that then it's not a lie. Not I mean, when I got to college, my desktop still had a floppy drive, and I did bring probably like a stack of floppies because all the computer labs still had them too. Ah, <sighs> floppy disks. Where did they go? In the trash, like they should have done, because they were pants. But you know. Okay, so let's see if I can get these this curvature. What is a floppy floppy disk? It's the save icon. So, imagine two concentric circles where the inner circle is a hole punched in the disk created by the outer circle. That, that layer is a ferromagnetic plastic that you place inside of a hard shell or encasement. And then you can spin around and use a magnetic read and write head to add or detract data from it. You brought this on yourself, just so you know. This is, yeah, you guys, yeah, like, this is, this is, uh, there's a whole book called, um, How to Invent Everything. Uh, Cleo, I recommend this to anybody who's gonna have kids anytime soon. So, like, if, if you, like, are trying to get, like, a baby shower gift for somebody, buy them this book. <laughs> so, like, basically, it explains the fundamentals of, like, every piece of technology that you would need to rebuild society if your time machine crashed. Right. And so it's like, it starts off with a how to tell based on the stars what, you know, millennia it is, basically. Like, yeah. And then it says, okay, from here, you know, depending on what year it is, here are the major population centers. Okay. Now, if you need to inv invent written language or spoken language, here are some tips. And then from there, it goes on to like water wheels and, and radio and clocks and, and all this stuff. And, um, but yeah, it's a great book for parents because kids all the time will be like, so how does this work? How does that work? And like a lot of parents are just like, I don't know. It's a pipe. Like, <laughs> and, but like, you know, sometimes people go to Dada and they don't want to just hear it's a pipe or it's not a pipe. They want more. <sighs> Back in my day, we had square like things with a hole in the middle that you put into your big box computer. Trying to figure out what it is you actually mean by that. Hold on. Humble Hero says, what's this book? It actually sounds interesting. Uh, so this is the old cover. I've actually got it. I, I, I looked up and it was right in front of me. Uh, although with the camera distance here, it might not work well. But it's uh, Ryan Nor... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is there's not room. This is not a sponsored stream, by the way. This is just... I, I really do. I have bought more copies of this book probably than almost any other book. Because, like I said, it's a great gift for new parents. Um... But like, it's like, oh, here's how to here's how to start working on movable type, you know. Uh, oh. Here's here's how to work out uh, navigation for uh, ships, you know. Like, uh, here's how to the make blast glass, furnace? you know. Because the blast furnace is really important. 
Oh, it it teaches you um, what what uh, what animals to domesticate depending on where you are and when you are. But yeah, the whole premise is your time machine crashed, and there's no handbook for how to repair your time machine because what is this book called again? It's called How to Invent Everything. All right. Okay. Amazon. Yeah. A survival guide for the stranded time traveler. It's by Ryan North, who did uh, dinosaur comics. He's really great. How to survive, almost invent. How to invent everything. But basically, it's got a, a primer on every field. Chemistry, fabric making, like, uh, you know, and, and the great thing about the book that I enjoy the most is like 90% of human invention is something where it's like, hey, it turns out that if you make this slight modification to a basic water wheel, it's 50% more efficient. And this slight modification is just like adding a little bit of a lip here at this angle in particular. And we could have been adding lips to water wheels for millennia because it's not like it's hard, just nobody knew to do it. And we figured this out in like 1897 or something. I, I genuinely have just ordered that book. Okay, awesome. Because, yeah, like, I love learning about things where, like, it's really inspiring to me to see how many things where it's like, oh, we could have been doing this since 2000 BC, but we figured it out in the last two centuries. And, like, that really inspires me, like, how many, how many opportunities there are for improvement, maybe, you know? Yeah. There's just, there's always room to do a little better. Always room for a little better but maybe not completely mm -hmm. <sighs> very tired kind of dehydrated today i think oh no mind you i have had weird sleep schedules mm. oh yeah i actually remembered to buy gatorade last time i was at the store <laughs> they haven't had the type that i like which is they, th there's like a bunch of <laughs> we could get really into the weeds on american sports drinks here which it's probably not I mean, I... something Cleo find... you'd find that less interesting than beer, I guess. Probably if I if I had. I to... mean, as as a guess, as that's a guess. that's pretty. That's not accurate. a bad guess. It's not a bad guess. Yeah. 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 So, like, basically, there's like three tiers of Gatorade sports drink. There's like normal, mm -hmm. then there's low sugar, and then there's no sugar. And so the low sugar one doesn't taste as sweet as the normal one, but then mm -hmm. the no sugar one, they they use like artificial sweeteners instead of just having less sugar. And so it tastes just as sweet as the main one, but it's supposedly healthier, you know, because it's artificial yeah. sugar. But the problem is I don't want to drink something that tastes that sweet all the time. Like that's why I like the low sugar one, but they're trying to replace the low sugar one with the no sugar one across the board and just get rid of that mid range. So Great Gatorade smells like wine. I don't know. To be fair, we don't really have a lot of like grape flavored things. Mm -hmm. I don't know it's a big American thing. You've got a uh, Rabina, isn't that grape flavored? That's black currant. The black currant, I don't know. Yeah, everything you have with grape, we have black currant because we're allowed to have black currants because they're not illegal. Oh, are they illegal? So though? I, oh well, the reason why you don't have black currants is because they were considered invasive, and oh. um, it, they they killed them off for another harvest of some some other thing. Uh huh. So um, yeah. Interesting. You, black currant is much better than grape, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I agree. Uh, flannel champ says black currant was a carrier of white pine disease. Oh yeah, yeah. We really like white pines here. That's like what we make all of our furniture out of. Really? It's super cheap. And our buildings. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I see. A anything that kills white pine would definitely be illegal in the United States. Yeah, that's why you're not allowed to bring it over. Yeah. Okay. Cause... Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> so my point was, though, that, yeah, get getting a big old tray of uh, Gatorade is a great way to fight off dehydration, Cleo. <laughs> If we had Gatorade, I would, I would, I would probably agree, to be honest. Yeah. Well, and a lot of people are like, but Joe, it tastes terrible. And I'm like, well, so does Red Bull. But like, I don't drink that for the taste either. 
<laughs> one is for not falling asleep and the other is for not dying of dehydration. <laughs> you know, I so, mean, fair. Yeah, and it's like, but Joe, you can get electrolytes from other sources, like food. And I'm like, yes, every American food has way too much salt in it. But that doesn't mean in the middle of a stream or when I first wake up, it's a great time for me to go get a big pile of chips, which is what the UK calls French fries. <laughs> I mean, how, yeah. how many times would you say your first meal of the day is fish and chips? Like zero. Like zero, right? So you're going to have something like porridge that doesn't have as much salt at breakfast usually. So, yeah. I mean, maybe? I don't know. I'm just... Maybe. <laughs> Porridge is what they call oatmeal. I'm <laughs> just being silly. I'm, I think I'm very tired. Are we, are, we, are we doing cultural differences, the game? I don't know. Point? Hey, Kanika, thank you for tipping five. <laughs> Sainsbury's has Gatorade. I have never seen Gatorade in Sainsbury's. That's going to put us three away from the next face camera expansion. Thank you, Kanika. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying. It might be in the American section. Maybe you're not shopping in the American section. I mean, to be fair, we do have an American section. Yeah, we have a British section at one of my grocery stores. That's where I got that iron... Um, is it iron, iron brew? brew? The Scottish orange drink. <laughs> it's... Ancient Scotland from Gerdes. Yeah. It's the yeah, only thing told... we know about iron brew. Yeah, I was told it was better with vodka. And I'm like... It's very hard for anything to be improved flavor wise with vodka, but this we is. We should tell you. But this should tastes tell you a lot. like drinking iron supplements. So I find that plausible. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not Scottish, so it's not my thing. Uh huh. So, you know. Yeah. Yeah, somebody says the driveways are driving Joe insane. Well, it is frustrating because it's like, I feel like I'm not making much progress, but like anytime I try to let go, the thing just starts falling apart. Like these curves, you really have to, you can't clamp them with like a mechanism because of the angles. You got to do it by hand. To be fair, I think the driveways are going better than the castle. And I don't know if that's just me being better, mm -hmm. but um... See, look at that. Look at that. I'm getting it. I'm getting it, everybody. I'm getting it. Yay, Cleo. Look, it's a little a little driveway thing. Cleo oh. is getting a driveway. She's getting driveway in how whole limbs all are. Dang it. You're quite all right, Joe. Just today. Just today. I'm not sure you are. Oh, man. I... I have not been doing a great job of taking care of my sleep cycles. Yeah. 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 I see that. Okay. Rule 74. That one. Rule 74's got to go down there. Down there. Inside. This bit. In there. I don't know why I felt the need to just do that so aggressively. It's like, you need to know where it goes. You need to know where it goes. Okay. What's the American equivalent of salad cream? Salad cream? Uh, actually, no. I, I, I have tried salad cream as well from the British section of the grocery store. Um, mm -hmm. and, and there is no American equivalent of salad cream. There is, it is, it is not a thing that I was just like, what would you eat this on? I, my brain, salad. Can't, it's not, uh, yeah, it, it is not a substitute for ranch dressing or alternatively any dressing. <laughs> you being Wait, you actually eat it on salad. I thought that was like, just yeah. the, the, like a polite name for it or something. I was no, like, salad I don't cream know is for salad. Is. Actually, I'm I'm actually thinking maybe this tab doesn't go this way. Well, no, it must. It's basically, yeah, it's basically mayonnaise with like flavor. Yeah, yeah. If you ever thought like I want my mayonnaise to taste weirder, 
Like, if, if you were like... I think that's... It's only weird because you haven't grown up with it, Joe. Yeah, but the thing is, like, usually you want your mayonnaise to taste like mayonnaise because if it doesn't, that means it's gone off. <laughs> but it's not mayonnaise. It's... It's not. It's... Yeah. I have to Britify you at some point, Joe. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, like, like I'm sure there are good things at the British section of the grocery store, but, like, I have not been impressed up to this point. Hang on, hang on. Shall I tell you what's in the in the uh, American version of the grocery store? Sure, sure. Pop-Tarts. Uh-huh. Marshmallows. Uh-huh. And canned pumpkin pie filling. Yeah, that's right. Pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much what you've got to deal with, Joe. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure that you, you're, you're one to judge. Now, in fairness, like, I don't think I've, like, well, I was going to say, I guess I have eaten Pop-Tarts occasionally, because um, one of my old employers used to have, um... They had, like, a breakfast bar set up with, like, fresh fruit and Pop-Tarts and bagels and stuff. Because uh -huh. I think they realized that most people would stay up too late and then not make breakfast and then just do a bad job because they were hungry in the morning. It's, like, it's like cheaper to just throw Pop-Tarts at people than to, like, <laughs> let them be bad at their jobs. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Canna Russo donated a do uh, pound and says, do you eat semolina porridge in Britain? We love it in Russia. No, we are a strictly rolled oat kind of country. Mm. Um, that, that is what that is what we eat. And thank you, Mini Cheese Mouse, for the biddies. The American diet in a nutshell. Cadbury's chocolate feels weird while melting in your mouth. We had the chocolate discussion, didn't we? About why American chocolate tastes like vomit. Yeah, and that's fine. Like, you don't have to like it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure why you like it, to be fair, because it I does... I didn't say that I especially did. Okay. It genuinely does taste like vomit. Okay. So I need to so have this part. So you, can have, you can have our chocolate melting weird in your mouth. That's fine. But, okay. you know, Hershey's isn't good. Yeah, no, that's... I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you on that. good because because my other half does and it's just sort of like he didn't believe me that it, it tasted like vomit mm -hmm. he he was very he was just like no 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 that's the thing you're making up I'm like no 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 it's online look it up <laughs> it was like sorry to tell you it tastes like vomit because mm -hmm. it does oh is is uh cam from the united states yeah oh, i didn't know yeah that. he's from the weird part which makes sense. I was going to say the weird part. So that's Arizona or Vermont then. <laughs> yes. The other thing that, the other liquid that tastes, uh, that is, has as much butyric acid in um, as American chocolate is baby vomit. Cook, white chocolate isn't chocolate though. And I would argue that Hershey's chocolate isn't chocolate either. But then I'm British. Mm -hmm. So, Avarice yeah. says, I'm a new watcher. What does face camera expansion mean? Am I even understanding it correctly? Yeah, so the oh, camera no. gets bigger <laughs> when people hit tipping <laughs> milestones. We are currently $3 away from the next face camera expansion. And people are saying his face cam is not on. What? Yeah, it is. I'm down here. I, I see the face, face cam. face camera is tiny. Yeah. I'm, He's tiny, Joe. Yeah, people haven't tipped a lot, so the camera's not huge. But it'll get bigger. If people keep tipping. Oh, if I copy and paste the wrong link, though, that won't help. I mean, no. But what, what else do we expect from you at this point, Joe? No, I know. But yeah, you might say, like, well, there should be an upper limit on how big the camera should get. And I'm a single parent, so I can't have any shame or refuse help. So <laughs> there is no upper limit. It's... There are no upper limits here. Yeah. It this does reset just every day at 6 a.m. Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania time. Because in this house, we follow Groundhog Day rules. Hey, Cam. Morning. <laughs> I see you've just woken up. <laughs> hmm. You've been here. Oh. For like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Oh boy. 
Yeah, holding the holding this driveway is definitely. I feel like this is the least dynamic stream I've had, because like instead of like okay, I'm gonna cut 800 things on stream, it's like I'm gonna hold this for 10 minutes, and then I'll switch it up in a little bit. Well, I've now got a a piece of the road which is kind of slopey. Yeah, there you go. Very cool. We're getting we're getting roads in. Mm -hmm. I just want to finish it. Just want to finish it. I'm at that point where it's just like, it just needs to be done now. Mm -hmm. So. All 77 around it. Okay, if I let go, is it going to hold? Nope. It seems like it's holding. I'm going to. Gonna just kind of be optimistic for a minute. As a treat. I mean, <laughs> based on you know what's happened so far, I feel like being optimistic. Geez, I'm on my last sheet. This is the last sheet I've got to cut out. Oh wow. And some bits, but yeah. Okay. I actually might be done today if we don't stop. I mean, it's I okay. don't know I've how got... we could. I mean, this is this is so riveting. Ah. Uh. I mean, to be fair, people aren't here for the paper craft. They're here for us. Yeah, that's fair. I, I mean, that's what I'm assuming. So we. Like, we're here for us. I'll be here for you, Zombie Cleo. <laughs> Give the later pop, you like the chocolate. I mean, you can like the chocolate. It's okay to be wrong. It's fine. Yeah, no, I mean, a can... certain amount of the other person being wrong is to be expected in any relationship. Yeah, look at my relationship with you, Joe. Yeah, I mean, we're we're off the charts for that. Okay. Uh, Joseph Mother's Boss says, how much until the next face camera expansion? $3. As you can see from this cleverly placed abacus. Actually, it's not that cleverly placed. It was on the floor. I had to pick it up. But there's not a lot of room on the table right now for, during paper crafting. The castle, the castle is rather large. I like how, Joe, you, you wrote in your tweet yesterday, it was a sort of like, we'll be finished in mid-October. I'm just like, I am finished and planning to be finished before mid-October. Well, that's fine, but I'm, I'm not going to be over-promising. Hey, thank you, Mahi Zero, for tipping three, who says, let Joe grow, let Joe grow, can't hold Joe back anymore. So here we go. It's time to expand. I feel like you've tried to hold Joe back enough, is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. And uh, uh, Ahime Tips 20, who says, let's show the new viewers how the face cam works. Yeah, let's do that. Here we go. Grow Hills. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, no, I forgot to put on my good glasses. Dang it. Let me go get those. I like how your good glasses are now the, the chrome key ones. They are the good glasses. But they don't. I know. Fit, they don't fit like with like a lot of things. Um, like my rain jacket. They're like too big for the hood. They're too big for my VR goggles. <laughs> but it was raining earlier, so I had the other ones on. <laughs> but yeah, it like they they kind of look like they really go out pretty far. But in mm -hmm. reality, when you have anything that needs to not have glasses go out pretty far like they go out pretty far yeah they interfere <laughs> uh sparhawk gaming tips another 20 so here we go that's gonna get us to our next expansion grow hills do, 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 do. and then uh zion Celine or zion Celine tips another two says starting a podcast would be a good idea um i mean i start podcasts all the time uh i was listening to one about pinball earlier and a different one still on pinball. behind the bastards myself you what still on behind the bastards as podcast go oh. oh have you um have you picked up i just got it yesterday i haven't had the chance to start listening to it elvira has a new book out and the, i've uh, heard about it yeah she's got a uh, book on tape version that she reads herself and in general if the author of a book is a performer um mm -hmm. i try to get the book on tape a lot of times I'll end up buying the book too, but I, I really like listening to people tell stories in their own words um, like that. 
yeah no that's that's I, th- I think people telling their own stories is very important so i agree with you yeah so I- i'm excited about that i'm not sure i tried to buy a copy as a gift for somebody in the uk and apparently amazon uk audible or whatever was like yeah this isn't available here yet so have an amazon credit or an audible credit instead of the book you wanted it's like wah, wah. Well, how about you just refund me well i mean they can use the credit to get the book when it does come out in the uk so so the, the recipient of the gift still got the amazon credit i didn't they didn't send me the credit back i'm trying cam i'm trying to figure out what that is in relation to oh people are telling me i have the wrong tank top on oh my gosh i am tired this oh my is, goodness you I, are I'm, not we- I'm wearing an opaque tank top one second be right back. oh okay that makes more sense because i was just like what <laughs> okay so she's come out of uh, as by that's cool that's cool well she has a she has a missus doesn't she so i think i saw a tweet this morning it's just sort of like I admire the restraint of her girlfriend so to not just tell everybody I'm Elvira's girlfriend as the opening to every single conversation ever. Wasn't public info since yet since yesterday. Huh? I must be I must be up on my news. That was your retweet. That was why I know it. See? See, Cam's very useful at times. Keyword there, at times. We can't have people seeing my torso. <laughs> Oh, you know, yeah, you know, you you are a cryptid. Mm-mm. Oh, that might be why I said Joe was described Joe as a cryptid. Yeah, that might be it. I was trying to figure out when I did that because somebody had quoted it to me. Mm-hmm. But I think that's probably in relation to that. Okay, and it looks like we have another tip rolling in here for two hundred. Woo! Thank you very much. To wow, Lavis for that. Uh, so let's see. We were seven, or no, we were eighteen away from the next expansion. So let's go ahead and do that one first. Um, that one's actually going to put us at the point where we need to get our chains out. Y'all have seen that money go straight to my head so far with each face camera expansion, but now, like Jacob Marley, these chains I forged in life are about to begin pulling me down to the deep below. Enter the just and i just put, point out that life was very southern at that point laugh 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 <laughs> these chains are forged in life laugh are pulling me down to the deep below <laughs> anyway then we're gonna go ahead and uh okay so that was the first 18 uh then we've got Another 100 gets us up to 118, so that's five more expansions, and then 38, 58, To be fair, Cam, you do tweet a lot. Like, a lot. 98. He's got a bit of a twang. He has got a bit of a twang. Sometimes I don't notice it anymore, but that was really noticeable, that one. Alrighty, so that's going to get us another, uh, let's, (laughs) let's say, nine expansions. So here we go. Expand Joost. Do 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 do. Sorry, Cleo. You've been reading all these bits. Now it's my turn. Grow Hills. Do 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 do. Lowering that face camera expansion or Joe Pesty now to 70%. Here comes the most obnoxious size the Tony Stark helmet cam, which people are telling me I should call the Joni Stark helmet cam. 60%. D D D D. So I think that was. Yeah, let's see. 90, 80, 70, 60. So that's four so far. Numero Cinco. How about we grow, Joe? Do, 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 do. T. Joe Eckhillsberg in the house at 50% Joe Pacity. Numero Seis. Bigger face. Assuming I can find it. Dang it. OBS freaked out. I've, okay, I got it. OBS really doesn't like it when you make your camera this big. Have you considered... Lowering the Joe Pacity to 42%. Have you considered maybe just having these set up as different scenes in your OBS? Well, that's not performance art. That's a tape deck. Okay, 32% Joe Pasty uh, for uh, number seven. Numero Ocho. How about some Mojo? Do, 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 do. 24% Joe Pasty now. Number nine. 
even more fun this time. Do 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 do. Lowering the Joe Pasty to 20%. And then number 10. Here we go again. Once more with Joe Hills and Cleo. Once more with Cleoling. <laughs> Is that a thing? I mean, it's a thing now that you said it, but I wish it wasn't. Yeah, I know, right? Cool. Yeah. And that puts us uh, $2 away from the next expansion. So uh, let's see. Then... Uh, so thank you again to Matthew Lavis for that. Looks like while we were processing those, we got a few more. Dreis just tipped seven, who says, just ordered the book, can't wait to read it. Wow, I was thinking like, you know, it's a shame I don't have an Amazon affiliate link. I could have gotten 30 cents off people buying that book, but instead I just got really $7, good. so this is way better. Thank you very much, Dreis. Uh, <laughs> that's going to put us five past our next expansion milestone, so here we go. Lower that Joe Passy now to 12%. Um... But yeah, Dree says, thanks for being such, uh, so amusing. Very glad. And then uh, Russell tipped another 20. Uh, so that puts us five past the next expansion. He says, buy some more salad cream. Uh, <laughs> not now. Maybe maybe, maybe for Thanksgiving. <laughs> bring it to maybe my parents. Maybe later. Maybe we'll, later. We'll bring it to my Bye. parents for Thanksgiving, and we'll see how that goes over. Grow hills. do de 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 um, yeah, I was gonna say, Cleo, what what would be what would be a very good uh, what's a very British Thanksgiving dish? But I realize I mean, that there probably aren't any. Did you want you understand what the concept of Thanksgiving is, Joe? Just yeah, out of no. curiosity. That's why I that's why I said it with a, a grin, although you can't see it. <laughs> um. Uh, the most British Thanksgiving dish is not having one. Mm. Yeah, because they don't have the concept of thanks. Uh, the concept of giving was recently introduced by Charles Dickens, though, uh, with his uh, serial A Christmas Carol. Just, yeah, I'm just shutting up right now. The massive cake that says, Get Lost Puritans. <laughs> Get Lost Puritans? <laughs> <laughs> pie that says puritans go home on it and bring to my parents house for thanksgiving yeah but they're your parents they'd appreciate that yeah well and they're not puritans either <laughs> oh boy that is one of the rare times where joe has a complete absolute giggle fit on stream okay i'm sorry but puritans go home is the <laughs> best thing to put on anything for okay i'm gonna start making a okay i'm gonna start making an actual checklist because um okay thanksgiving 2021 okay so salad cream puritans go home icing on pie uh you know what let's just throw iron brew in there why not iron brew and Shut vodka up. why not yeah uh, yeah well so my maternal grandmother was scottish and so oh, i think sorry. my mom would get a kick out of iron brew as like oh here's something from the old country <laughs> fine that's fine it's fine <laughs> it is i'm sorry cleo but it is fine you're just gonna have to accept that it's fine <sighs> puritans go home also sounds like a tweet yeah i, I was thinking that <laughs> but i was like i i'm gonna save that for when i have the pie i'm gonna put i'm gonna i'm gonna save that joke to post the picture with the pie that's yeah 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 what condition yeah my yeah condition yeah is that's in. fine okay so i am like nearly certain now that this goes here based on the way this ground is mm -hmm. it's gonna go up and like over or something here somehow So I'm realizing with these curved things, what I should probably do is just glue 
one tab at the very end mm -hmm. and then glue the rest of it like after that dries rather than trying to hold the whole thing in place because it's just been brutal trying to get this right otherwise I can't even get the tab in. I should be doing those walls. I just don't want to. Yeah, that was me yesterday. I was like, it's my day off streaming. I, I'm just going to take a day off working on the castle entirely. Sometimes on my day off streaming, I'll, I'll like go in and just do a little bit of building or I'll do a bonus stream in the morning or something. But. Uh... Yeah, no, I get that. It's like, fine. It, yeah, just. Because I had two nights in a row where I did, like, five-hour streams. I, I One was four and a half hour, one was five hour, just moving those castle walls and the roofs and stuff. Mm. You should have told me. Did you see the diagonal roof yet? Uh, I haven't yet. I haven't been on because, it's... you know, time. No, that's Don't fine. have a drink. It's not as good as I was hoping it would turn out, but it's not as bad as I feared, so... <laughs> I'm going to leave it. I, I I see that there's room for improvement if I rip it out and redo it, but I think I'm going to move that to the bottom of the ripping out and redoing queue for now. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna leave these because they've got to go across these pieces. I'm going to leave those until I can be bothered because mm -hmm. those walls don't need to be there. They're just there to annoy me. Okay, so this is going to attach here and here eventually. Um... I think I'm going to start cutting out the next page while we wait for this stuff to dry. Gas station simulator is sold better than Death Loop on Steam. Well, well, it's a third of the price. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to pretend I've done that. Fix the gate tower. 78 and it's floor 78a okay i mean i've i've uh have you beaten death loop yet i've been watching a lot of streams of it and it seems great but like not yet <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel any urgency to play it um i really like it mm -hmm. um but it's such a it's, it's 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 a time sink. It's a time sink. It you, if you're gonna play it and you're mm -hmm. gonna get into it, it's gonna take you a long time. Yeah. So I don't. I have gotten really far into it, mm -hmm. but I don't think I could spend any more time than I actually am on it because it's intense. Mm -hmm. And it's all about learning and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not learning. We can't have that in a game. Not what I meant, but yeah, sure, Joe. You do you. It's mm -hmm. fine. It's fine. Yeah, but... I kind of want to play Gas Station Sim as kind of a chill thing. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there's something nice about running your own business and only worrying about, you know, how much dirt is on the floor. Mm -hmm. oh. I was gonna. I need to go get a drink. Alrighty, enjoy. I should send Cleo a tray of Gatorade. That would be funny. Although it might be like ludicrously expensive, so I probably won't do that. Um, okay. So how are the chats out there doing? Everybody good in chat land. Brent Rogers Nobody's... says, what would an 18th century Twitter canceling look like? Uh, probably a lot like a witch trial. Um, we we already know the answer to that. Know the answer to and this, it was, yes. There'd it was already hanging. dramatized pretty heavily uh, in The Crucible by Arthur Miller. We don't really need to waste much of our imaginations on solving this problem. Watch out for Dennis in Gas Station Sim. Oh, I've seen Dennis's uh, drawings of winged noses. I've seen. I'm aware. Probably easier to ship powdered Gatorade. Unless, does Cam speak Chinese? Is that probably easier to sure powdered Gatorade? What? I don't know. 
Ship. That's ship. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, why are you shipping Gatorade? Oh, I was saying that uh, it's probably good that I don't have your address or I would have already ordered you some Gatorade earlier this stream. <laughs> You're like, look, Cleo, here. And, and the thing is, though, you would get it and it wouldn't just be like, oh, here's a tray of 20 bottles of Gatorade, right? No. Right? No, I know. It wouldn't just be that. It would be, here's a tray of 20 bottles of normal Gatorade. Here's 20 bottles of the G2, which is the one Joe likes that has less sugar but not no sugar. And here's a tray of 20 bo bottles of Gatorade Zero, which has no sugar but a ton of sweeteners. So that you could make your own informed decision. I mean, if you're going to buy me trays of drink, you know, I'm not arguing, but uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, Gatorade is pretty cheap. It's, it's not like I'm I'm sending you a case of wine. <laughs> oh, they had this advent calendar, with a 750 milliliter bottle of a different wine every day, for advent, at Costco, and mm -hmm. it was a hundred dollars. And I was looking at it, and I was like, I don't know how much 750 milliliters of wine is. But like it's three quarters of a liter, if that helps. Is it okay? So yeah, because I was just like, I <laughs> yeah. But I was just like looking <laughs> at it, and I was like, it would be interesting to sample a different wine every day leading up to Christmas. But then I was just like, that's a lot of money. And I also, I was really worried. I was like, is seven hundred fifty those little airport like um, liquor bottles? Am I, if I gotta get this and just be like, oh man, this was a total ripoff. But uh, three quarters of a liter actually sounds like a lot. I mean, um... Fractured Maven says that's a reasonable two and a half glasses each for two people. Wait, so there's... How many days are in Advent? What, 28? There's no 12. way. I mean, it was a big box. Huh. 24. 24. Oh. Princess Anima has resubscribed for three months. The first two months might have been gifted to me, but even if that offers an exit, I don't want it. I'm fine with being trapped here. You are very welcome to be trapped here. We treat our... We treat our um, hostages with kindness and respect yeah and but not enough respect to let them go sorry and jay says i stayed up as late as i could last night to watch the don't panic flip and manu van battle uh and just so you know uh cleo i might have mentioned this before nj coffee junkie is my uh project manager mm -hmm. i know so and i know nj saw me at that stream last night just so you know i was up late doing that client server work i wasn't just goofing around watching tv uh while they played pinball so a likely stay. <laughs> well, the thing is, though, like Cleo, like a lot of this sort of thing is just like, let me just compress this 20 gigabytes into a tarball. And so you're just sitting there for a few minutes waiting to create like basically a fancy zip file. Like I can mm -hmm. watch a little bit of pinball here and there while I wait on stuff like that. You know, I like the fact that the pinball is now your new thing. Well, the thing it's is, just... no, but like I, you, I, I liked pinball before I knew pinball streaming existed. So pinball streaming is kind of a new thing for me. But, like, yeah. It's a very 70s game, but, you know. Uh, well, I mean, that's... I'm sure it's I'm sure it's been updated since the 70s. Yeah, I mean, and also, Cleo, when have I worried about being, like, trendy or topical? Remember when I did the uh, Hermits Helping Hermits theme as a parody of the True Detective Season 1 theme? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, yeah. I yeah, mean, I'm working fair. on a parody of toss, toss a Coin to Your Witcher right now, two and a half years after it's of any value. Uh... I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying it's just a thing that you do yeah. all the time. Well, the, the big thing I like about it is when I would listen to Minecraft streams, I would hear, like, the character taking damage or whatever... And I would think if I was editing my video, like, oh, wait, is somebody taking damage there? Is that me? It was just, I can't listen to something with the same sounds as what I'm editing while I'm editing, you know? See, I can't listen to anything ex while I'm editing, so I don't know how you manage. You know, uh, I'm reminded of the title of Michael Scott's book from the American office. Somehow mm -hmm. I manage. I mean, fair? Yeah, fair. I, 
I, I, you know, this is, this is the difference between me and like a, a, a lifestyle productivity coach is like, people are like, Joe, you get a lot done. It's like, I do, but I couldn't tell you how. <laughs> it's like, uh, a lot of it is, I don't know what I'm doing. So I make up for it in quantity. I don't know what I'm doing. So I just do a lot of it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. No, that's fair. Well, the... I see you. Yeah. Which I think is the problem half the time. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's gotta go. I think part of the problem is that I, I'm used to editing in public places, and so now that I have to edit at home, like, I need mm -hmm. some background noise. Because, like, I used to edit at coffee shops, like, on my way to work or on my lunch break. Mm -hmm. And so there'd always be people around. Um... See, the best I can do is, is I can watch silent people create things. So if there's no talking in a video, I'm fine. But as soon as there's talking, my attention shifts. Mm -hmm. Um Are we genuinely having a conversation about what constitutes a chippy? I don't know what that is. I'm okay is. with this, but, you know, a, a chippy. Um, is that like a, a chippy? No, no, no. A, a chippy is a chip shop. Fish and chips. Oh, okay. Or I got there eventually. Chip butty. Once you explained it. It's a chip butty often. Um, depends on what part of the country you're in. Gotcha. A jelly donut. Who puts jelly in donuts? Cool. That's pretty common in the United States, really. Do, do you guys not have that? Oh no! This is our. This is our. This is this is jam. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah, the difference? Got you. Do you use the word jelly to mean something else? Uh, jelly is a way of uh, a jelly is. If it's jam, it require it's required to be uh, specifically strain um strain fruit ah. so you got to strain the you got to strain all the fruit jam has bits of fruit in it mm. is the, the 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 general definition of it gotcha so but also for us jelly is um what you would consider jello which sounds disgusting when you think about it being put inside a donut but as you say that i'm kind of like sitting there i'm thinking like but how would you put it inside of a donut like you could do that using the same, like you could put Jello in one of those like icing pouches and squeeze it. I think. I mean, you could, and it sounds vile, Joe. So. Uh... Well, but like, I have, uh, before when the pandemic first hit, I bought a bunch of stuff that lasts a long time for the pantry. That's like just now mm -hmm. starting to expire. So I was going through and like looking at what was gonna expire in the next three months, and I have a lot of packets of Jello that are a few months from expiring and so I'm i like, feel like i feel like you don't actually like jelly well the thing is like my kid really liked making it because she got to stir it and it's you know uh yeah you know yeah. That sort of thing but she kind of grew out of that and then <laughs> so it, but like it was kind of one of those things though where it's like okay i'm trying to make as few grocery trips as possible so anything non-perishable it's like Oh, hey, it's five for whatever, you know, like a lot. American grocery stores are very big on like bulk purchase pricing where you mm -hmm. get like a steep discount if you buy a lot of something. So it's like, right. oh, OK, yeah, I'll just buy 10 packs of Jello. It it lasts forever. And I mean, it does last quite a while, but. But forever is kind of a. Not actually forever. So, yeah, no, I'm looking at it. and I'm like, that's another. OK, I'm going to put that on my Thanksgiving list, too, is Jello. <laughs> Thanksgiving must take Jello. Yeah, Why have you brought us seventeen packets of Jello, son? Yeah. Alright. Thought you might like it. It's fine. If you don't. Yeah, yeah. It'll be. It'll be fine. But like, yeah, we didn't do Thanksgiving last year, uh, so you know. Mm -hmm. This year we might as well go all out. It's like, yeah, I could just make a bunch of different Jello. No, 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 no. There's also there's also ways that you can layer them to make like rainbow um, jello. So like yeah. you do 
like you get the purple jello and you make it and you let it set overnight so it solidifies mm -hmm. right and then you yeah pour... oh no no i understand how to make rainbow jelly well i don't know maybe not everybody in the audience does okay explain rainbow jelly to us joe okay so after you let the purple jello set overnight in the fridge so it becomes solid then you make the next color up, which uh, Roy G. Biv, so uh, that would be blue. You make the blue jello, you pour that in. So over the course of like a week, you can make like a, a big stack of colored and, jello. And, and by that time, the stuff on the bottom has started to rot. Uh, I don't think it really does, though. Because it's... I mean, does it? I mean, it does go off, yeah. Yeah, but it's going to be, like, air-sealed in by the upper levels. I mean... As Fractured Maven points out, it has to be real food to rot. Um, also, people are telling me it doesn't take a full overnight to set up. Or to, to set. No. Yeah, that's true. So you it could, you could probably do tops. it in, like, a 12-hour or a 9-hour cycle to get the color. Like, I mean, you do still ha you have to let it set, at least partially, though. So they don't... Otherwise, you'll end up with just the colors all mixing. Mm-hmm. This needs tape. As cool as rainbow jelly sounds, I'm not waiting a week to eat it. <laughs> well, the I other mean... thing that you can do is you can also just make, um, as you go, like, let's assume that your tray isn't deep enough to use all of the jello in the big tray that you're making the fancy jello, or the fancy rainbow one. You can use the leftover, just let that set in its own cup, and then eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. And so then you have the nice presentable dish for Thanksgiving, and then you also have eaten six colors of jello in the meantime. And that's what we all want, really, is to <laughs> just... eat six lots of jello. Oh my gosh, I've got so much jello in the pantry. Like I said, I got like ten boxes. Oh I... my god, Joe, what?! I didn't realize it was that. Yeah, okay. and, and they're and, and they've got about three months in them. So I'm looking at that. I'm like, okay, so that's like every nine days, I gotta make a box of Jello. I mean, it's less than once a week, so you know. Yeah, it'll be. I'll be fine. You say that a lot. You know, and so that's the thing, though, Cleo, is like whether or not I'm actually fine is very arguable. But I do be. So maybe I should just start saying, I'll be. You'll be. You'll definitely be. I'll be. Yeah, treat it like the 70s and put salad inside it. Mm -hmm. That seems like a really good way of wanting to never eat jelly again. NJ, I'm not going to ship powdered jello to New Jersey. We're in the middle of a freight crisis. <laughs> like, that's what? really... Why are you shipping... NJ Je says, I've offered to take some of this off his hands. And I'm like, but yeah, I can't just send you powdered jello. Like, I mean, you can. I can, but it's it's like, we've got a huge shipping problem in the United States right now. We don't have enough freight capacity. Massively irresponsible, but you could. Massively irresponsible. Competing with people who actually need the uh, freight capacity. But, you know, I could do it just as like a flex, like. Look at me, I'm shipping jello. And you guys, you have to wait for your important medicines because I'm shipping jelly. Evbac says food banks are an option. They probably prefer it if I don't send them something that's about to expire. I mean I'll just I'll I'll just make the jello. My kid likes making it again, I think. It's been long enough. Like that she's you know, like I found like when kids get tired of something, you, you take like a three to nine month break from it and they're like, Why don't we do this anymore? It's like because well, you complained. <laughs> it's entirely your fault we stopped because you were being a child about it yeah. I'm not saying you shouldn't be a child about it but that's why yeah I'll tell her it's practice for, for Thanksgiving Seventy nine. Okay. 18 is there We're getting close, gang. We're getting close. I'm 
Massively irresponsible, so it sounds like a perfect title for the streams you two are doing together. What is responsible about making paper models? Also, you know, I don't know that I would describe myself as massive. <laughs> I mean, you are quite tall. From what I hear. Yeah, oh, it's really fun. Did you know that a bunch of people on Tumblr care a lot about how tall each of us are? Yeah. 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 Oh man, I've been spreading information and taking weird height pictures with people at conventions for years. It's like <laughs> I'll I'll intentionally like stand on things or like uh or like stand in such a way that you can't tell I'm crouching. So people are like, "Okay, so Joe's like taller than B dubs, but shorter than uh like stress or something." It's like, "How does that happen?" It's like cuz I'm screwing with you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I see a lot of that. And it's just sort of like, why do you care how tall we are? It's such a weird thing to be concerned with. Tumblr having weird concerns? What? <laughs> I walked into that one. Yeah. Walked into that one. Hey, Mouse Mac, thank you for tipping. And Joe is being Joe. Thank you for tipping Happy five. Who says, uh, my kids like making... Uh, the jello, but they don't like eating the jello. Yeah, see, that's a problem as a parent. You know, you don't want to, you know, get a heart condition or anything. You want, you want to live like long enough to to beat the grandkids. People on my stream saying it's a power move from you, Joe. There. See, that's the thing is, is sometimes people think things are about power. I think they're just about being obnoxious. I mean, you think most things are about being obnoxious, which is why it's a power move for you. Because mm -hmm. being obnoxious is your power move. It's where you've got the most power, Joe. Hmm. That makes sense. Sometimes I do. I try not to when I'm with you, because it's easier. Yeah, you you don't want to give me any actual, like, work of... Uh, usable intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like unusable intelligence would be a good name for a Minecraft series. Like, a good name for a podcast. I'm not sure podcast. what it would be about. Yeah. Unusable intelligence. Well, I mean, stuff that you would never be able, you would never use in your day to day life. Yeah, yeah. So, you know. There's, All there's... the stuff that preppers do, for example. What is the word for, um, and, and this might not be something for you, Cleo, this might be something for the chat, but, like, what is the word for, like, intelligence, um, you, like, like, spy intelligence, like, information that you get that you can't use without burning the asset? Like, oh, because there's only one person we could have gotten this information from, if our government acts on it, our enemies will know who the spy is immediately. Like, so it's one of those things where it's like they have to make a uh, cost-benefit analysis of, like, how how bad is it if we can never use this person as a spy again or we have to extract them? Which, I mean, if extracting them is like, yay, good for them. They get to not live in a place they hate. But, boo, bad for us because we don't get to keep getting knowledge from them. I don't know. Espionage? Collateral? Uh, dear Diaries, got some... That seems to be the, re the the reasonable example. Rebecca says forbidden knowledge. No such thing! Because I give you permission to get all the knowledge that you desire, chat. You have my permission. Not sure you need it, but you have it. Yeah, I think maybe I'll open a forbidden knowledge store on the server. <laughs> I mean, what sort of knowledge on our server would be forbidden? Um, I mean, I could uh I could get like books that are uh banned in different countries, uh like loaded into Minecraft books. Uh, that know. seems like a, a, a bunch of work. Yeah. 
Hmm. Non-actionable intelligence. Inactionable intel is what Mahi Zero suggests. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. It's probably a word in German. There probably is. Mm -hmm. My intelligence is off and on. Yeah. I get that. I'm not even sure what the parts I'm cutting out now are going to be used for. Like, maybe I should Neither look at the instructions I. at the same time, so I'm like, I have some sort of context. Oh, this is some sort of courtyard that connects to something. It's a courtyard that connects to something or other. Oh, boy. The courtyard is connected to the tower. The tower's connected to the bastion. If you're lucky. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I am looking at this and And you're going, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna I, I think I was happier when I was just cutting things out and not trying to figure out how they fit together. Like, yeah. That was that was That was peak <laughs> mock paper modeling. I've flown too close to the sun, Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you have, Joe. Uh. I don't know what this wants me to do at this point. Are you there? Yeah, I think it does. Think... Oh Sorry. no, I didn't ask if you were there. I said, I, I said, does it go there? I was, I was, I was considering the paper modeling rather than Joe's presence in my life, which is, I admit. Like a, a big mistake on my part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Poop. Abby M says someone did that. There's a map you can download full of illegal books. Yeah, yeah, I remember hearing about that. But, like, you know, that's famously the map with the illegal books in it. You know, that's the sort of thing that your nation censors are going to look for. They're not necessarily going to block Hermitcraft Season 8 down. Yeah. Not sure they could. We're yeah. in different countries. Yeah. Bastion is connected to the battering ram, and now the royals are hacked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that is pretty much how history went for like 90% of the time. Yeah. It's like, hey, Cleo, uh, you know, I'm working on this uh, scene. I really think armor stands would help. Uh, oh, yeah, what you working on? Oh, uh, it's, it's based on the French Revolution. <laughs> Come on, Joe. You know I'd be all over that. Yeah, I know. Have you seen what I did with did with um, not impulse, XB stuff? Well, I was told not to watch that episode because of the interaction with Cub. Ah, crap. Yeah. But I, I did kind of skip to the end because I was curious, like if you worked on. I was like, how does Cleo have a whole episode when I haven't seen her do anything on the castle? Which was admittedly because I was like, Cleo, don't do anything on the castle because I'm. It's a mess. <laughs> You, you did say that. You did. Yeah, I, I, I was like, oh, I'm glad Cleo was able to get an episode out. Oh, this is stuff I'm not supposed to watch. Oh, okay, there's some sort of gory worm thing here. Hopefully yeah. that's not what I'm not supposed to watch. No, 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 you can watch the gory worm thing. Yeah, that looked cool. Thank you. Is that because I of tried. Dune coming out? Um, I don't know. I don't know why XB wanted it. It's just he's got a story thing going on, I think. Gotcha. Sometimes story things are the important part. 
Okay. Oh, here, here's the important questions coming in from my chat. So, you know, catch up, Cleo's chat. Stray Wolf says, Joe, weird question. You're very old, but how come you sound so young? Well, I like wow. to think that the community keeps me young. It's you, Stray Wolf. It was always you. Sorry, Cleo, what were you saying? I, I just didn't want to get involved in, in involved in your little tete a tete there. You yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, I know it's fine. I just really didn't want to. It was uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> you got to keep in mind some of these people are like, you know, fifteen. That makes it worse, Joe. That does make it worse. Yeah. <laughs> so the the actual the, the actual thing is um a few things. Uh one, don't smoke. The actual smoke. thing is a few things. Don't actually. smoke. Okay. Um mm -hmm. for another thing, you want to get a portrait of yourself in the attic that ages. You don't want to have that on the ground floor or in like your bed. Oh no, that gets bathroom. found out. People, has to be people in the funny attic. About it. If it's a mirror in your bathroom, totally wrong. That should not ever get older. That should stay the same or you screwed up. But yeah, don't smoke <laughs> and uh, portrait in the attic and you're good, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. That's how it goes. Mm. Right, I think I'm on the last of those roads. Woo. I know, right? Okay, I think I figured out that this particular courtyard is going to go underneath the chapel because this, um, yeah, that looks like it fits right there once we fold that tab. Yep. Ta-da. How, how, hang on, I haven't looked at your stream in a while, I'll so I'm going to go look at your stream. Okay. Hang on. I'm holding on to it in exactly yeah. the same location. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I was trying to figure out what this particular courtyard was, and this is the extension that goes underneath this thing. Yes. Yes, it is. That's what that looks like. Nilo says, yes, Joe, those 15-year-olds will certainly get the Dorian Gray reference. Well, I mean, I don't know what they're learning in schools these days, but I'm sure... It's stuff about old white guys. So Dorian Gray is on the menu. Oh, yeah. If you smoke, you, you're going to age faster. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sorry, that was just something that just come up in the chat. It was like, yeah, don't, don't, if, if you smoke, your, your, your skin is going to look 85 by the time you're 17. So. Why is this not scoring properly? Oh, it, it did score. It just wasn't folding for some reason okay i've been in hermitcraft since season one yeah that was only like 10 years ago though i've been in climate craft since season two yeah cleo which was only because joe asked me to come along or put, put <laughs> vouched for me well, i am glad you joined I mean, I was I was at the point where I was just like, is this what I want to do for the rest of my life? Should I just go like full ham into teaching? Mm -hmm. And uh, then you made that offer, and I thought, well, I'll see how it goes. And it did quite well for me. So, I am you know, so glad. you are the reason why I'm still doing Minecraft content. Yay! Yay! And Joe's going, dang, I wish I hadn't. No, it's actually nice. Like, the thing is, no, like, and this is going to sound weird, but, like, because, um, like, anytime I say stuff like this, people think it's weird. It's, like, I feel like when I help other people to, like, do good mm -hmm. work, it takes some pressure off me. Because I'm just, like, even when I have, like, a day where I'm, like, I feel like I didn't get anything done today. It's, like, but there are some people I encouraged who are out there doing good work today. So, you know... I it's the, your problem, Joe, is you're just a genuinely decent person and nobody knows really how to handle that. So that's the problem there. It's not you, it's them. 
you know. Specifically me, so. I don't know. A task says only you can judge whether you're hot. No, plenty of people can tell I'm hot, Graved. It's pretty blatantly obvious. You don't you don't have to be good at judging to be able to tell. Like, that's not an only me thing. Somebody says, it looks like you broke the tip of your exacto knife. Yeah, I did, but, like, it's fine. Yeah, there's... It's only another six weeks to finish this project with yeah. a broken knife. Well, it's not... No, no, no. The thing is, though, that just because the tip broke off, it's like, I wasn't really using the very tip anyway. <laughs> it's fine. Now it's an Aproxo knife. <laughs> an Aproxo knife? <laughs> That's a good one. That is good. Uh, Xenon murder. Hold well on. Oh boy. That's, that's, I like that. <laughs> okay, so... I am surprised you didn't get that one. I'm surprised that wasn't your first thought. Uh, the thing is, like, when, when I'm working with something, like a tool that's not necessarily optimal... I mm -hmm. try not to dwell on it because it'll just annoy me, you know? So like, yeah, it's like, I don't have, I don't have time to think about knife puns while also avoiding addressing the fact that the knife probably should have its blade replaced. <laughs> the Aproxo knife is great. It's a great pun. It's a great pun. It is. Yeah, Mystery Men's a great movie. Yeah, Janine Garofalo is great in it as the bowler. Yeah. The police said my father was uh, walking home from work one night when he fell down an elevator shaft onto some bullets. You know, I've always ex suspected some foul play was involved there. <laughs> as have I. Not sharp enough for pounds. Oh, Cam, stop. Killing us. Okay. The other way? Oh, yes, yeah, this way. A task says, if the tip actually broke, you've got a new tip, right? It's better than an intact blunt knife. That was actually my thought, too. But I didn't <laughs> want to say that out loud in case it was, like, blatantly wrong on a physics level that I was just too tired to... But, like, yeah, that actually was what I was thinking. So thank you for affirming me on that, A task. I don't think that's necessarily affirmation. I just think you're both wrong. <laughs> yeah, but, like, I feel better <laughs> about it now because, like... I could be like, I was just vouching for a test so that Cleo could throw him under the bus. I, I mean, or maybe I threw him under a the task bus. has been around enough that God knows that I'll throw him under the bus regardless. So yeah, it's cool. Okay. <sighs> Everyone gets thrown under the bus. <laughs> Bye, Megs. I hope you had a good good time whilst you were here. Not everyone can be the sharpest tool in the shed. Hey now, you're an all-star. I thought you were going to go with "Hey now, you're a tool." So, <laughs> you know that that was that was better than I was thinking was happening. Um, so, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I need to get piece nine three out here. Ah, yeah, because these all kind of unite around nine three. They will unite. Pieces. Have a knife for the broken. I'm engraved. I still don't think it's made necessarily ideal, but I don't think you're wrong. They sell replacement knife tips. Yeah, I've got like a whole bunch here. Thanks to corpse. We didn't turn up today. I'm I'm most. I was going to say hurt, but I'm really not. I'm really no, not. That's fine. It's fine. People have lives that are outside me watching watching me make a pig's ear of a papercraft model. 
Yeah, I think that's one of the best things about streaming at all different times of day is then when people are like, oh no, but I want to watch all of your streams. Just being like, that, that's that's impossible. There'll be another, long, another one long in five minutes. Yeah, like, like the reason I do so many is so that everybody who wants to can catch one here or there. Like there's, these are not designed for like, oh, you got to catch every one or you're going to miss something. This is, this is, we're not, we're not, you know, writing um huckleberry finn here like in a serial Thank god format. yeah <laughs> that was yeah. that book, book would not be written today yeah, let's go let's go down the mississippi <laughs> i mean that i think we could probably do let's go down the mississippi joe yay on a flimsy raft yeah we can actually there's a lot nicer boats now though like i mean yeah, but do we do you know it's the Huckleberry Finn experience? I mean, here's the thing: is if you actually came here, and I was like, yes. Cleo, let's go to the Mississippi River and go down the river a few miles. I think you'd be more likely to actually say yes if I had an actual boat lined up than if I had a flimsy raft. I think if if it if it makes you feel better, I I would do the flimsy raft like hands down. It seems more fun. You say that, but I don't think you've seen the Mississippi River. Like, the problem <laughs> is, it's full of these giant barges these days, the wakes of which would just throw your raft over. I'm going to swim. Okay. Alternately, we could go down a smaller river in a raft. That's that's okay. Maybe maybe we should do that instead. So maybe instead of rafting the Mississippi, we could either take a real boat on the Mississippi or a raft on a different river. <laughs> oh, thanks, Canna Russia, for giving out a community gift sub. I really appreciate that. I'm not a Pokemon, as far as I know. I'm not a Pokemon. If you start at Itas Itasca, you could certainly use a raft. I don't know where that is. That's okay. We'll get you a chart. That's what they call a nautical map. Um, so thanks for informing me, Joe. I was not aware. Yeah. So apparently, are there are there boat tours of the Thames? I heard about this yeah. for the first time yesterday, and I haven't had time to independently verify this. Yeah, you can go on a boat, and it'll go look over there. That's a thing you could have seen on a bus. <laughs> yeah, but you're on a boat. <laughs> like, but you're on a boat, so therefore it's more expensive. It's more socially acceptable to drink. I mean, it's the UK. You can pretty much drink anywhere. Oh, like on a bus? I mean, they try and avoid it, but you know. Not, oh, well, that's the know. difference between them and That's boats, why you then. go on the top deck. That's why you go on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> no, mean... but um, London, uh, London has these buses where you can just buy a pass for like a week mm -hmm. or a few days, and, and you can just hop on and hop off wherever you feel like it so you know yeah the thing about something like that though is i would feel like i was stuck in traffic sometimes and i don't like being stuck in traffic on vacation like it reminds me of like commuting to work even though i don't do that anymore like it kind of gets me out of the whereas like i i was i never took a boat to work <laughs> living the dream taking a boat to work Oh, oh my gosh. When I went to Seattle to look for places to live there, um, oh, there, blimey. there was uh, one of the apartment complexes. Um, they were like, yeah, you know, a lot of people here all work downtown and, you know, by road, it's kind of dicey in the mornings and in the afternoons. So that's why we've got two ferries that just run directly across the lake. I was like, wait, so you contracted with a ferry company and they like swing by in the morning and pick up people who live here? And they're like, no, no, no. Our apartment complex owns and operates two ferries to get the residents downtown. And what? I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is the coolest thing. Like, I, I obviously didn't move there, but um, but you yeah, that's just real like, hard. Yeah, you, you, you if you're gonna live in an apartment complex, if you, if you're not gonna own your own place, if you gotta pay someone else to live there, they might as well have a navy. You know, because sometimes, like, I'd be like, I, you know, where is all my rent going? 
<laughs> like, I feel like my apartment, you know, hasn't been improved very much the last few years, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's like with that, it's like you look out the window, it's like, oh, yeah, there, where's my rent going? Downtown across the lake. <laughs> fair, fair. I'm sorry, like, it's just so cool. <sighs> yeah, Toxic Litter says a lot of apartments outside of Boston have their own buses that will connect the apartment buildings to the nearest public transport or transit place. That makes sense. Because, yeah, like, you don't want to have to buy a car, you know. I mean, most people in, in London don't buy cars. Yeah. So, you know, that makes that makes sense to me. This has got to go in here. But wouldn't it be cool to work on a ferry that takes people to work too? Because you'd look at all these miserable people on their way to work every day and you'd I be know. like, oh I'm already at work. <laughs> Suckers. <laughs> the idea of commuting through London giving me a car gives me shit. Well, I used to... Um... I used to used to drive a white van when I was doing like geology stuff. Um, and I used to, because I lived in the, I mean, technically what's considered the greater London area um, at the time, I, I had to drive around London. It's not that bad. Um, it's not as bad as people seem to think it is. I would not want to drive in London. Granted, I don't want to drive in Nashville. I'm just stuck. Sometimes I, I, I quite like driving. Driving's yeah. Driving's like, one of those things that makes me chill. That makes me feel chill. So you know. Yeah, I like driving to places on like trips. Like driving to Philadelphia. It's like a twelve-hour drive, but it's like oh, it's gorgeous. And you, when I get there, I get to, I'm on vacation and I'm hanging out with people. But like driving to and from destinations, I'm fine. But like when I'm in Philadelphia, it's like the car is going in the garage and I'm taking the bus everywhere. I'm not driving around another city. Right, like it just goes in the. Hotel I mean, if door. you're on holiday, yeah. I mean, well, and also though, it's like I don't want to. The odds of getting in an accident when you're trying to navigate a city you don't know are way higher than getting in an accident like on your way there on the interstate, where like signage is clearer and there's a lot less turns and you know controlled entrances and exits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. I just, I just, I don't know. People, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want to drive. And I'm like, driving's great. This is why I'm the I'm generally the person that's always got, like, no alcohol in their veins. This okay, you know like... what, Cleo? If you come visit, you can be the designated driver. I will let you drive my car. Are you allowed to? What do you mean, am I allowed to? I mean, will your insurance cover that? Should, as long as you're a licensed driver. I mean, I am in my country. Well, I think we have some sort of reciprocal thing. Like, if you could rent a car in the United States, then you could drive my car. Cool. If I get into an accident, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, like, the car is 13 years old. And, like, I'm kind of looking... Like, I've... I'm looking for a reason to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please so crash it, like, Cleo. It's like, Joe, what happened to your car? Well, zombie Cleo crashed... I mean, it's a, a story. I, I mean, seriously, at that point, we're getting out that we're getting out our phones, and then we're recording that. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, and that's the thing too. It's like, uh... it's sort of like, why have you written off? Why have you written, get your your car as a tax write off? Well, I recorded its crash, and people watched it. Yeah, that's. I really, that is one of the few things that I would consider like an actual sponsorship for. Cause like, I'm not doing these VPN or headphone sponsorships, but like right. if Honda called me up and said, we'll give you a $40,000 vehicle if you do these commercials in your streams or sh shows or whatever. I'd... I mean, to be fair, if anybody came to me and said, we're doing a uh, $40,000. Yeah. yeah that's if we, the if we can thing. have some time in your stream. And I'm just like, yeah, all right. <laughs> I need money. That's fine. Yeah. You have epilepsy, so driving scares the heck out of you. I mean, I can understand that at that point. It's just sort of like, you know, that's just a medically sound decision there. 
to be frightened of that. Mm -hmm. So Mahi Zero says, there's a joke here in Dallas that anywhere in Dallas, you're a one hour drive away from Dallas. I don't understand that joke. It means it's hard to get around the city because there's too much traffic. Oh, okay. those of you in the UK, how do you feel having to drive on the opposite side of the road? Um, I don't really care. It's one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't think I would want to drive on the opposite side of the road, but like, but that's because Americans are terrible drivers. Yeah. You um, know, as, as a, I mean, I've seen some of your, um, I've seen your basic driving test and it's like, oh, you let people drive after that. Oh, okay. Scary. Bennett Allen says the Seattle ferries are the best, but didn't spell it like ferry boat, but closer to like, you know, like a wilderness ferry. But, like, you know what? They can both be true. <laughs> like, there's a lot of beautiful a, a, wilderness. A wilderness? Red, you know, like like a tree spirit fairy. Oh, fairy. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, though, is there's all these beautiful redwoods and stuff up there. <laughs> you ever have those moments where you're just questioning your choices in life? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to depress you today. <laughs> today. <sighs> okay, is this in frame? Sorry, I was cutting this out of frame. My bad. I like how everyone's just sort of gone quiet and gone. Joe, okay. No. <laughs> We've established that Joe is not okay. <laughs> but I'm really good at it. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh dear. Is Joe ever okay? I mean, not recently. I remember in the past when Joe was okay. Or at least pretended really well. I don't know that I would bother. <laughs> like what, pretending. Yeah, I, I think I, I think we can safely assume that if I seemed okay, I was okay. At the time, Joe was fine. It's just been a rough few years. <laughs> I'm glad that's stopping for you soon. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm, I'm feeling optimistic. Um, like, I feel like I had a positive trajectory before COVID hit, but, like, all of the things that I needed to do were, mm -hmm. like, things that directly were, like, you can't do that during COVID, you know? Yeah, no. So it's just kind of put me in this like weird holding pattern with like stuff, but with like life. Yeah. It's always the best thing to have in a holding pattern. Life pattern. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I I I approve of of slightly despondent despotic Joe. It's fine. Hey, thank you very much to Iscal85 for the raid. Howdy Raiders. Joe Hills here recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. Cleo and I, Zombie Cleo from the Hermitcraft server, are both hello. working... Oh, sorry, Cleo. I just said hello. We're both working... I mean, I wouldn't call it something, but you know. Okay. Well, I'm going to copy and paste to... your URL into the Twitch so anybody coming in can see your point of view. We're both working on papercraft models of the castle we are building in Minecraft right now. 
uh, not like right now, right now, but like this season on Hermitcraft, we are building Castle Hohenzollern. And in order to make sure that we both understand the architecture and things like that, we are spending uh, about four hours every Wednesday building a paper model based on the original. Cleo's model is like an actual commercially available one. Mine was a print at home one. So we have completely different instruction guides with completely different steps, but the end result should be different versions of the same building. Now that was the big castle that uh, we were working on earlier that I just showed. Right now I'm into like the courtyards and driveway part, which like is going to be really wild when it's done. Um, I was really in the process. Wild, not when... gonna lie. Yeah, sorry. I'll stop modeling. Oh. Uh, but yeah, sorry, I was in the process when y'all oh, came stop in. Stop monologuing! Yeah, yeah, that's gonna happen. Yeah, I'll, I believe I'll, that. Joe. I'll say I'm gonna stop monologuing as a and warning. And then he just continues. That, that Cleo, you should probably be ready to start talking sometime in the next eight to twelve minutes. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so the the part we're working on right now is this little courtyard down here. Um, so like I said, we've got a few big chunks of the tower or, or the castle. I can kind of move these into frame up here a little bit, I guess. But, um, yeah, if you check out our latest Hermitcraft videos, you can see bits and pieces of these builds underway. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can. But unfortunately, this, this castle is now so big, I cannot fit it in to shot. Oh, you can't get it entirely in frame? I actually probably no. should lift my camera as well. I'm a little wary about doing that, because I don't know what else is going to be in frame the second I lift this up. Well, the funny thing is, is because we're going to be doing craft streams after this, mm -hmm. I've also got myself a smaller version, mm -hmm. a smaller model, a smaller tripod. Oh, cool. So, you know, so it's, I can get more detail work. Oh, well, my tripod is just really tall, and I just lifted it up by about three inches so I can fit more of the castle pieces for the people who are just joining us so they can kind of see what we're working on. But, yeah, it's uh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole work in progress here. It is. It is definitely a work in product pro progress. And hey, Viking Wing has subscribed. Welcome to the horde. If you look to your left and to your right, you will see there are new exits. None. That's that's uh, against fire code, really. I mean, you know what? If I was worried about fire code, I don't really have any way to finish that sentence. No, that's fair. So I'm just going to explain to the people coming in, one of the next steps that I'm going to do, now that I've cut out some of these pieces, is I'm going to do what's called scoring, where if you look really closely here, you can see there's like these uh, dotted lines along the individual pieces at certain points. Where those dotted lines are, I need to lightly trace over it with the knife to make just a teeny tiny cut that doesn't go more than like a third of the way through the page but or the paper. But that, that'll let me fold it there. And I'll get like a much more precise fold. So we just gotta gently trace the knife across there, and then when I why is my castle being threatened by Lizzie? I don't I don't, I don't understand, Cam. You see now that it's a nice clean fold. It's not perfect, but it works. Um... It's not perfect, but it works. Is not the story we have for our own lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not perfect. It's... It's just, you can just stop it's there. It's just not perfect. It doesn't even work. Yeah, it's yeah, just... we're not saying it works. That would, that would be false advertising. <laughs> don't need the Federal Trade Commission on top she of it. She said it's flammable. Yeah. I see you, Lizzie. I see you. So so now these, we scored this on the opposite side Very because flammable. we need to fold inward here, right? Now, <laughs> these parts, basically it's got a different type of dashed line for if it's uh, scorable on the front or the back of the page. It's pretty hard for y'all to see that on the camera, though, so I just kind of do it. Hey, Matera has has subscribed with Prime. Welcome to the Horde, and I'm very sorry. Oh, and we got another hype train. An anonymous gifter gifted <laughs> gifted a sub to Lizzie. Oh, wait, a hype <laughs> train. You. Let me get my whistle out. Oh, yeah, we need the whistle. Thank you. There we go. I don't have a soundboard like Scar. I have to make my own creeper hisses like hiss. That wasn't good. It but wasn't. The it train, wasn't. The train should, sound should was good because that's an actual train. Oh, did I tell you I found my next problem, Bell? For like Yo, what? what? So when I solve a problem and then I need to like address whatever the next thing is, I got this bike bell so I can say next problem. It's got, <laughs> it's got like little gears. I, I like the fact that you've got so many problems, Joe, that you need. 
sound effects for them. Yeah, you know, I'm realizing I probably should take this out of the cardboard at some point. I've had this in the cardboard here for like five years. <laughs> like, th you know, they're not paying me to promote their brand. Uh, th they shouldn't get their logo. Oh, that's nice. It fits on my thumbnail. Oh, dear Dyra gave out community gift subs. Thank you very, very much. And um, Materia gave out five community gift subs. Oh. Very much appreciated. And Apollo shared 100 bitties. Thank you very much. You know, I just realized I could take this and it's, it's intended to be mounted to a bike handle. I could mount it to the tripod back here. Oh. And uh, NJ also gave out a community gift sub, which I missed. Apparently I'm missing everything. Sorry, Joe. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, somebody asked, am I going to participate in Twitch Rivals? No, because you have to be a partner to uh, to participate as a competitor or an affiliate. And I'm not either. I did I commentary last not. time, but you don't need to be a, 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 a partner for that. I am also not participating because, like, I do not do well with competitive stuff. Um, it freaks me out. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's not good. It's not a good fit. It's not a good fit. No. Okay, I thought that this was gonna go around here, but now I'm having doubts. Cause wait, no. See you later, Materia. Hmm. Now let's just keep scoring this until we figure out what makes sense. <laughs> Glue. I hate having so much glue on my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be interested in going to my next project where I will not have glue. So, Do I have tape all over my sleeve? Yes. If you look here, hang on, I'll show you. Um, I've got tape keeping these bits together whilst the glue dries. And if I have it on here, it's less sticky when I come to put it on here so it peels off better and doesn't take off the paint. Paint the, the paper bit. So, you know. Can I just point out how complicated this ruddy model part is? Yeah. Oh, that's the it's part just... that I think I was just kind of working on. Well, no, maybe not exactly, because you've got a different tower part. There. I've got. I've already done like two of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of loops stuck on. This. So the green dots on here are where you got to glue something to itself. Oh, thanks for the biddies, Apollo. Uh, Cleo is not good at competitive stuff. I mean, last life. I mean, I don't wouldn't count last life as competitive. That's more just being entertaining. And if I die, I die. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so long as so long as I stay alive more than three episodes, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm okay. With okay. That. So to hold this together here, I'm gonna put this on the bottom there like so, and then I'm gonna try and hold the tabs. Um in such a way that it dries to itself and See, hopefully this is where out. we say joe should probably have tape like well, i've got tape uh, yeah cleo's using tape to get the stuff to glue together and i'm just holding it joe is is a couple of weeks behind me in this point now <laughs> well because cleo's model is different she's got a, a okay we both have different models of the same building and hers is a little bit easier to move at speed um True Shoe says, Joe, Doesn't would you do care. Third Life in the future? I mean, that's like asking if I would be on if the Tonight Show in the future. Like, I mean, I can't just decide to do that. I do not have invite privileges. Yeah. So, you know. It's one of those things. And I didn't ask you to invite me either. Oh, I know you didn't. But I'm saying I do not have them. Yeah. Because I was not saying that to you because... I mean, I think you know me well enough to know by now. Yeah. Well, like, look, if you could get me on The Tonight Show, you would have done it. I would have done it. I would have done it, Joe. Yeah. You know, it's... it's. I mean, I think you have a lot of valid things to say on The Tonight Show. Yeah. I've actually been thinking of trying to differentiate my bonus streams during the day more mm -hmm. from my late night streams. And, and I was thinking, like, maybe experimenting with, like, having a monologue and having guests and kind of, like, looking at what I liked about the Colbert rapport um, mm -hmm. and, and jo the John Stewart thing. Because, um, like, I spend all this time reading the news every day, but I don't really turn a lot of that into anything viewer-facing. And so, like, it might be a good exercise for me to do some sort of, like... Uh, good morning like like a basically a morning show i guess because it would be morning my time about yeah. this time yeah. like two or three days a week where it's like here's what's going on in the news here's a monologue here's a guest i don't know that seems like three days a week a lot of work for a monologue 
Well, the thing is, though, that, like, I'm reading the news anyway. I'm just not enjoying it. So, like, making funny jokes <laughs> and stuff about it might be cathartic. Might be less horrific. Yeah, I and don't, also, I... if I turn reading the news into work, maybe I'll stop doing it. Because I'm not doing it for fun now. But I definitely, like... Uh, <laughs> But like you know how if you if you have something that you do in your leisure time and you turn it into a job, at some degree you start avoiding it. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. Also, I haven't been on the server for three days, so. Yeah. yeah so it's like I'm just gonna start taking anything I do that might be, uh, you know, moderately unhealthy, <laughs> and turning it into a thing, and then seeing how it goes. Because it's like I'll either turn yeah. it into something healthy, or I'll get so tired of it I'll stop doing it. Oof, 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 oof. Pokemon Raid Hour. That sounds interesting, Macaulay. But you're off, so you can't explain it to us. Next time you're on, explain Pokemon Raid Hour. Pink Slime says, would you be on camera behind a desk with a mug with the at sign? Well, that's that's part <laughs> of the traditional format of those shows. And, like, to, to some degree, maybe I would do that in Minecraft. Or maybe, like, I've got a green screen and a desk. Like, I mean, I can kind of the thing is joe is going to be in a completely in a morph suit at this point so he's gonna be in a green screen behind a desk but you won't know yeah yeah oh i need to get a green screen suit jacket um i realized because i've got the green screen um uh dress shirt that I wear under existing suits, but I don't have an actual like green screen suit. I, I, I am always amused by your definition of niche <laughs> My definition of what? Need. Need, yeah. I need a green suit. Okay, I'm sorry, Cleo. The people need me to get a green suit. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be right without a great fake desk where his real one is a green screen to lean on it. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked about Clash of Creators. I think I'm going to take this month off Clash of the Creators. Uh, I don't know. Last month, like, I just, uh, I felt like I was... I was too tired going into it, and so I was like, I need to take a break. Um, I'm, I'm thinking I might actually take like a real three day weekend. Um, That's not heard of for yeah, Joe ever. Yeah, not this weekend, but um, like uh, the weekend of like the eighth through twelfth is a three day weekend in America, and I didn't take off for the last three day weekend in America, and I was kind of like annoyed at myself afterwards i was like i really should have just taken a break why didn't i done. take a break that was dumb of me um so one of these days joe you're gonna take an actual break and then the world's gonna end yeah and i mean it will admittedly be my fault at that point but like i mean it will and everyone's gonna be disappointed in you and you know but on some just level, get a variety of fake joes to stream for you like who could pull off being joe like genuinely well i mean i've had uh so i could pay my brother to stream for me and i've done that before but i'm but i've did, done that before when i was like when i had a little bit more in savings uh ah. so that's the thing is it's like well you know just just pay somebody to fill in for you it's like well part of what i'm stressing out about is money <laughs> so uh spending more money is not the best it's not beneficial right now yeah it's like he just needs to clone himself. You see, the problem with cloning yourself is that it takes money and time. Things that Joe is lacking at the moment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also willing participants. I could do the news for perfect. Hermitcraft. No, I don't really like. I don't want. I'm not. I don't. I'm not interested in competing with the um. The recap. The recap guys. I'm. I'm interested in like, you know, hey, there was an explosion in a port in Libya. Let's talk about that real quick. What does that mean? What's that about? <laughs> Have you heard about these ports in Libya? Okay, so I need to pin this down with the knife to hold it in place while it dries. And that's out of frame, dang it. Okay, well, I need like... to tape this so. I can continue doing other things. And just as we could have a Patreon stream weekend. The Patreon people can schedule stuff themselves. I'm not 
this is one of those things like people keep asking me to schedule fan stuff and i'm like no the fans should schedule fan stuff like i'm not i'm not gonna be in charge of that that's if you self-organized stuff should be self-organized um where am i reading from says wizard crafters uh i've got several chats open um because i stream on several services and he's also got my chat open and i've got cleo's chat open uh but yeah Actually... Cleo does not stream on several services. Services. Yeah. Okay, I need to hold this one for a second or two. There we go. That is not holding. Oh, it's done a poo! Eh. Yeah, sorry, uh, Melon's away. Yeah, I just remembered that I needed to switch over my view there so I could read the... Uh patreon discord chat because yeah i had my dms with cleo open so that we could get organized for this morning which meant that then i didn't hi, hear hi. okay i think this bit is ready to put onto the castle now which terrifies me so <sighs> everything is everywhere okay and a quick reminder we are 10 away from the next face camera expansion we are currently at nine percent geopacity so that puts us about f uh, $50 away from the entrance of the Beetle Joast. And tips are welcome via paypal.me slash joehills. Sorry. Okay. Hey, speaking of which, we just got a tip rolling in uh, from Robert for 29 Thank you very much, Robert. Boom. Okay, so the first 10 gets us one expansion, and then the 19 gets us one away from the next beyond that. So here we go. It's time to expand. Just do 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 do. Lowering the Joe Pasty now to 6%, and we are once again $1 away from the next expansion. Okay. We might be very close to finished. Wow, your castle actually is really coming along. That driveway is wild there. Oh, but do you see it's what I mean now that you got part of the driveway in about... Yeah, yeah, I see what you mean. Okay. Because I was trying to explain this thing the other day to Cleo in the Minecraft castle, and I did a bad job. Which is on me and not on Cleo, but like, yeah. Okay. I mean, to be fair, I was tired and wasn't really listening, so, you know. Yeah. Okay, so how does this work? So 9, 4, 9, 3, and 9, 1 all go. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so 9, 1 is this one. 9, 2 is this one. These two combine. Why their powers combined? here okay so i need to glue this to that okay this is fine i can do this You're telling yourself that joe yeah yeah we believe in you joe i can do this okay i mean it's against recommended guidance but you can do this you are physically able of doing this yeah you know i did realize that if the beetle joast appears you're not going to be able to hear the the theme song through Discord. I'm good. I'm good. I've heard it a lot, so. Oh, have you? I, I've heard it on occasion, yeah. Okay, I didn't know that you you watch my streams that often because we don't. Some, sometimes I hide. It doesn't come. Well, I was just gonna say it doesn't come up very often either. So. No, no. I mean, most of the time, if I'm watching you, then I'm trying not to do other things that I should be doing. So. Yeah. No. Hey, thank Why? you, Cool Emily, for tipping thirty. That is gonna. The first one gets us our first expansion. Twenty. Guess it's our second for 21. So then we are nine past two milestones. So here we go. It's time to expand. Just do 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 for the first one. And then for the second one, uh, luckily, I've got a whole song ready just for you. Be right back. 
and I'm going to talk over this. <laughs> Who's going to stop me? You? Not one you. Wow, Joe. Okay. I think I missed a tab. Don't care. Okay. I am actually assuming that Joe is so that's why I'm still talking. I'm Here's the thing now. I think it might be done. Except for cast. It's Joe time. Hey there, Cleo. It's me, uh, the Beetle Joast with the Beetle Most. Thank you again to Clue Hello, Emily Joe. for putting us $9 past that milestone there. We're now 41 away from the next expansion. The Beetle Joast has $50 milestones because, uh, you know, I'm uh, <laughs> worth it. So, uh, yeah. Hi, how's it going, Cleo? Going really well. Uh, Jubbles cheered Biddies and so did, and Random Passer Buyer uh, subscribed. Welcome to the Horde. Wow, um, no, that wasn't a pre-existing fan. It was just a random passerby or two. You know, that's pretty impressive. It's a random passerby, yeah. Um, the main castle is done. I'm now on turrets. I've got, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turrets to do. Yeah, that's fairly impressive. Also, people can actually see the suit. Now I'm realizing that a, uh, the jacket's going to be visible with my Ooh. wrists here. In frame. Oh, God. Here's a paper castle. It's so dang heavy. You know, it's made of trees, right? Yes, I know it's made of trees. I know. I know. Right. Carb Jewel says, fancy sleeves. Uh, hey, thank you. Hey, welcome to Randerhill. <laughs> I'm glad you could join us. 685A onto the back walls of 85. Where's 85? This is where I hunt for pieces. Oh, I can't be bothered to do these little walls anymore, so I'm not going to. So. Uh, that's a fantastic attitude there. You know, I hope it uh, pays off for you in the long term. <laughs> I mean... You're a real go-getter, you know? It's fine, Joe. It's fine. Okay, so somehow uh, this whole thing here is supposed to attach to uh, some part of the rest of this. Somehow. Oh, wait. Does it does it attach like this? Is that how it... Oh, my goodness. This is going to look terrible. Is this voice going to stay? Is this... I mean, usually... Uh... No, at least until uh, Joe Mez Adams shows up. But that's, uh, you know, several more face camera expansions away. <laughs> okay it's fine just kidding Cleo I can talk like this if you missed it uh, it's less annoying I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I appreciate your honesty it's I a don't. nice reassembled tree you've got there you don't, don't appreciate it don't appreciate, don't appreciate it. recognizing the fact that it's annoying I worked really hard on that Michael Keaton impression <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's annoying. Yeah, you, you, I'm not saying it's bad. I just can't have it around me right now. <laughs> I just don't want to have to, you know, deal with it yeah. at all. I, I get. I hear you, Cleo. I, I get it. Okay, so how does <laughs> nine three attached to these other pieces? This is what group glue the sextagonal watchtowers eighty six to the base, and what watchtowers eighty seven, eighty eight, eight, eighty nine to the base. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, is this going to be this? Fine. It's basically make really big towers all over the shop. Wait. And preferably over the model first. Though. How could this possibly function? 
I'm sorry. I, like, I'm at this point where I thought I knew what I was doing, but now I'm at a point where no part of it makes sense. And... I mean, yeah. Uh... I'm I'm literally finishing off towers now. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I reckon I can be finished in the next couple of hours. Hear that, chat? We could be finished. If I finish... You know... What are we going to do, chat? What, what needs to happen if I finish is the question. Because this has taken six weeks at this point. Wait, so you don't already have something planned? I already bought the, the Halloween house I'm going to work oh, on. Oh, no, I already I already know what I'm doing. It's just, uh, I'm just sort of, what does the chat want to happen? A start over. Add some glitter. Okay. I don't actually... I might have some glitter. Oh. It's not covered in tape glue. It's low tack tape. I really wish Very I understood low -tack. this diagram. I'm sorry. I'm you just could, like... you could, could mock Joe for not being finished. I mean, I feel like that's a given. Yeah, I, I feel like she's doing that just with her like general attitude here. Um... Uh, I mean, you know what, Joe? Not all of us can be uh, go getters with how fast we finish our castles. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the, the people like you have to exist, Joe. Yeah, hold on. Does it go like this, maybe? Oh, go getters and go getters. Yeah, Joe's not a go getter, he's a Joe getter. Mm -hmm. Which is infinitely worse. Finish the castle on Hermitcraft. You say being a Joe getter is infinitely worse, but you also frequently lament that you get me. So maybe you are a joe getter have you considered that? i am a joe getter i do get you joe which mm -hmm. is terrible yeah it's it's a trauma actually joe i'll have you know yeah comprehend me and despair cleo i looked too deep into the abyss the jobis sorry thank you yeah we got a brand always be branding <laughs> abb always be branding that's not an infinite void of despair. That's an infinite void of Joe's despair. Joe's despair. <laughs> okay. So I figured out roughly how this part connects now. This goes on here. So. You know, they're actually. The, the film Beetlejuice does prominently feature a model. So. This is, we've actually brought this back around. Yeah. Well, what I've already decided that I'm doing is at the end, it's going to have you and me in the castle somewhere in the basement. Oh, are you going to making paper craft models? Armor stand, Joe and Cleo. Yeah, making paper stand, making paper models of the castle. Nice. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta hold this, and then I gotta scrape off the extra glue with this wooden rod, so it doesn't discolor everything. There we go. Now comes the armor stand phase. The building phase, then the armor stand phase. That's how this goes. Yeah, I was just thinking, getting you a set of little balsa wood armor stands that you could then decorate would be a good gift. <laughs> so get on that corpse. You're the only one that knows where Cleo lives. The only I'm, one that knows where Cleo lives. I'm just going to offload all of my Cleo gift ideas to corpse. Well, corpse is not here today. Well, corpse um, can watch the VOD. <laughs> I, I'm not sure he's uh, not sure they're going to do that. Gotcha. <laughs> you know you need to make an arm stand model of the castle in the castle's basement. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. No, if Joe is Beetlejuice, that I am not Lydia. No. Cleodia? No. just want the endless towers to end you know if only you'd pay attention to the adjective before towers you might have had more <laughs> reasonable expectations <laughs> it turns out those endless towers whoo they were not exaggerating that wasn't an upsell that's just that's just truth and advertising right there <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was. Job off a roof. I mean, I feel like that I have always had that capacity. Yeah. I mean, also, like, hmm. <laughs> no, yes, you know what? Joe. No, I it just, it, there's just some things that it's just, it's, you know, as an entertainer, you just have to kind of sometimes figure out, like, you know, is this, is this something I want to say to the public? And you know what? No. Let's just leave it at don't push me off a roof. Like, <laughs> I feel like anything I could add to that would undermine <laughs> the overall theme of just encouraging people to not do that. Um, let me put it like this. I always had the capacity. Always. But yeah. I never acted on it, Joe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Yet. I'll try not to. Yeah. Well, and, and also keep in mind, Cleo, I mean, given, you know, how well we've managed to work together over the last decade, even if you did push me or throw me off a roof, what makes you think that you're not coming with me? I felt like a threat. It felt like a threat. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, that was the, like, I spent 90 seconds figuring out how to revise that, so it was not blatantly like a violent threat. Just, just <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think, I think, I think between the two, it, 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 it's a mutual aggression tact at this point. Now, you know, here's the other thing, too, is we joke about this sort of thing a lot, but, like, I mean... There is enough of a film industry in Nashville that we could rent, like, an inflatable thing. Like, if you ever came <laughs> and visited, we could actually film something where you, like, push me off a roof. But, like, you know, because, like, a lot of roofs in the city, like, you know, they're multi-level, right? So it's actually, yeah. like, a, you know, a 10-foot drop, and then you get, like, an inflatable cushion or something to fall onto. Mm -hmm. You know, you we could we could film you pushing me off a roof onto a slightly lower roof and it would be survivable and maybe this is what youtube shorts are for <laughs> <laughs> like we're always like i don't know how to make shorts out of my existing content well that's because you're not you, you're not supposed to you're supposed to make new content this should expand your boundaries of the possible oh like cleo pushing me off an actual roof i get it now <laughs> that all makes sense that's what we do genuine murder yeah It's like, if Cleo pushes me off a roof on video, it's tax deductible. <laughs> Part two to see the impact. <laughs> yes, that, that would work. Yeah, well, that's the thing, too, is we could, like, that was, like, a whole thing with Sherlock, wasn't it? Like, he got pushed off a roof or something. And, mm -hmm. like, people were, like, at all these theories about how they did it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, Cleo pushed Joe off a roof, but he survived. How did he survive? I mean, I think if people know us quite well, which most people do at this point, mm -hmm. they're aware that I didn't just throw you off a roof. <laughs> Throwing Joe off a roof, not clickbait. <laughs> so, <laughs> not clickbait. Not clickbait's <laughs> the best part of the title. <laughs> Thank you to uh, Hazardous Garbage for the idea there. <laughs> um... I like the idea that the, the important part to you was that it was tax deductible. Well, I'm willing to be thrown off a roof, but only. But like the, the but like what makes the rental justifiable, or what, you know what makes it the the rental doable is the fact that I can write it off. It's like it's <laughs> wow, it's not cheap to rent this inflatable thing to, to get pushed off a roof onto. But if I do it with Cleo as part of a video, it's tax deductible. I appreciate you willing to be thrown off a roof. Yeah. There's no caveat there. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just glad that you're willing to be thrown off a roof. 
that's the thing though is at this point in my life i feel like i'm you know as, as we get older it's tempting to start been... saying no to new experiences but you can't you can't do that you gotta gotta be open <laughs> to new ideas and new experiences you gotta be open to being thrown off a roof on one t- one occasion yeah i get you i get you tragic thing is i do I'm also saying it's not me being thrown off a roof. Yeah. Because I am afraid of heights. <laughs> yeah, we could also film this on a relatively low roof, but like shoot it in such a way that it looks like a higher up roof, as a courtesy to you. Yeah, that seems fair. We can do that. I mean, you could also just throw me over a wall. <laughs> like, we have walls here at me level, like in parks and stuff. You put the camera at a low angle. Like, this is a wall at the top of a hill. Okay. Looks like so, Jurison, I says, I trust 3A to, to throw me off a roof. Um, if you are in the UK and you have Netflix, um, I can't remember if it's called The Fall or The Push. But there's. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but I love it already. Um, it's something like that. Um, <laughs> but it's Darren Brown, who is a. Who is a um, he calls himself a mentalist, I think. Um, but he basically convinced people to, you know, it was like a, a hidden camera thing, convinced people to throw someone else off a roof, you know? And it was just sort of like, you, you got to watch, um, well, the main person you, you're watching doesn't actually throw someone else off a roof, but he goes, you're one of six people that we asked to do this. And oh my God, like like most of them most of them chuck that person off that roof yeah i don't know if i want to watch a show about people being talked into throwing people off roofs i don't know maybe i'm just old-fashioned but, that but it was fascinating deeply, if you i mean you're you're, you're very disturbing like it, it was it was but it was just sort of like it's 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 that whole kind of everyone is it doesn't matter how nice people are everyone can you know it's just one of those how far is everyone away from being an absolute monster and well, it's just sort of like oh this I, is how nazism has been that sort of thing yeah you yeah. know what they're just towers now they're not going to have a little landing on them who cares i don't murder is fine when it's entertaining okay so to I be fair it, it was <laughs> he had a harness on that they just didn't know it um, and there was a reason, reason rather than random. But well, it was basically you're you're going to jail for the rest of your life, or you push this person off a roof. Was what it ended up with, and you had all these people trying to convincing you to do it. Has to be you. They'd know it was us, kind of thing. They'd know it was us. Oh, that's what people always say. <laughs> Just don't push people off a roof. I mean, you know, just in general, don't push people off roofs or, you know, don't push people. That's assault. Um, yeah. But as a topic, why do humans do terrible things? You know, it's kind of. Oh, that's why. Dang it. Okay, this is going to be a pain to glue because of this curve. So I'm going to hold this while it dries at this weird angle first. Mm hmm. This is like the most glue holding stream yet. Like I, I feel like I've done very oh. little cutting, but a lot of glue holding. Fair. Can I at least get my like, yeah? At least I'll get the suit and shot. There we go. At least the, sh- at least the suits there. At least okay, the suits in frame. Where's the other castle? Come on. Oh, it's at the back here. Oh, that's the little tower that I fixed earlier. Yeah, it's two of them. One at front, one at the back. Yeah, I don't the one at the back from four, but... I know they do why. They're just turrets. Hmm. I'm assuming it's like maybe ventilation or something for like the dungeon. Okay. 
Now I've got to do, that was 86, now I've got to do 87. Little castle drying, 87, 87, 87. That's an 87. Okay, are these dry enough that I can let go of them? 87. I feel like maybe no. I've decided that these platforms can't be bothered. Well, can't Just they? can't. That must be nice for them. Meanwhile, I'm over here being bothered nonstop by this stupid wall. Ah. I mean, at a certain point, I think it's your own fault. It is. It is entirely my own fault. That's what's so frustrating, Cleo. I know. I made choices that led to this. There were choices, and that's the one that you made. Yes. Oh, um, Cleo. Oh, wait. No, never mind. That movie's not out in the UK yet. Okay. Never mind. I'll, I'll hold this question or line of questioning for two weeks or three weeks. I mean, at which point I've still probably not seen that movie. Okay, that's fair. Because I'm not going out to the cinema at any, at any point. Well, but it might be on like HBO or whatever by then. I only have Tinternet. I don't know what Tinternet is. Is the... that like a, a glassy internet of a certain hue? Yes, Joe. Yes, it is. So yeah, I don't, I don't have TV because it's very expensive, mm -hmm. and up until recently, I couldn't afford it. No, that's fair. I mean, I've got like, we don't actually have like cable television or like satellite or anything we just have whatever the uh streaming services are via the internet mm. and i've got like one of those boxes that you connect to the tv so you can watch things on it okay that seems reasonable but yeah i only have like netflix and you know like the regular streaming ones mm -hmm. netflix amazon prime etc etc mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a new horror movie on HBO called Malignant that came out recently. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, I finally got through it. I've got this problem where a lot of movies, I kind of watch them like five to eight minutes at a time while I'm like cooking and cleaning. And so I'm like just to have it on my phone, like set down on a counter. Right. I don't really get a lot of couch film experience. Um <laughs> And so, like, I was watching it, and I was like, there's a few things about this that seem kind of off, but, like, I'm not really giving it my full attention. So maybe maybe that's just me not, like, because I'm not paying attention, right? But um, uh -huh. then I got, after I watched the movie, I was like, oh, that was kind of weird. And then I went and read some reviews, and I'm just like, oh. Oh, it's supposed to be kind of weird. Oh, it's it's supposed to. There's actually way more weird. It's even weirder than I thought. I just did. I only noticed about a third of the weirdness because I was usually like, oh, I got to say, why wi uh, wireless uh, noise canceling headphones now? Like, I'm like vacuuming while I'm watching this horror movie on my phone across the room. <laughs> like, it's crazy, though. Like, you can listen to a movie while you vacuum, which is good because otherwise I would never watch movies and probably vacuum less. <laughs> But, yeah. Like, but I'm just. I, I wasn't surprised. I missed things, but I was like, "Wow, I missed." I a missed lot. a lot. I'm like, this movie might have been way better. Like, I thought, like, oh, that was pretty good in a lot of ways. It's like, oh no, no, this movie's way better than I thought it was. I'm going back and I'm <laughs> trying to rewatch it now. But the problem is, I still don't have time to watch it on the couch. So it's like, I'm just paying slightly more attention to it while I scrub pans and stuff. Or, like, I'm yeah. looking at the screen at the times I didn't look at the screen last time <laughs> to fill in the gaps. After the third or fourth watch, I'll have a pretty good comprehensive view of it. I'll, I'll, I'll understand it after I've watched it four actual times. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the toddler they made terrified of rabbits. Yeah, psychology is a weird thing to study. What they used to do to children. Okay, can I let go of this without it ungluing entirely? It looks like I mean, I'm going to go with probably not, but you do you. Yeah, it looks like that was kind of okay. So, okay, let's go ahead and we got to pop this wedge down here. Nope, oh, my nope, it was not ready. British it was British. not ready. Should not have let go. 
I like prawn cocktail crisps. Okay, well, we're just going to hold on to this for a while, it looks like. Uh... I mean, that's not the worst thing that they could do to a child. They've done way worse things than make them afraid of rabbits. Um, you don't want to talk about the forbidden experiment. The forbidden experiment is horrific. Prawn cocktail, prawn cocktail is awful. Yeah, that's because you've got no taste. It's fine. You're allowed to be wrong. I think we call that shrimp cocktail here. Possibly. Okay, so I just want this to be like the problem is if I can't glue any other parts of this, if I have to do like one little tab of this glued at a time or the whole thing comes undone, like I might uh -huh. as well just start cutting the next sheet. I think I'm gonna go get the next sheet and start cutting it because I'm tired of waiting. That's for a this. good plan. Because like a good it'll, plan. it'll hold on its own if I let go of it, but the second I try and like fold part of it over, it pops back off, right? So it just needs to sit. Just need to stay there and be happy with what it is. <sighs> yeah. Like children. I am on. But in the quintuplets in escape. Oh well, yeah. I've forgotten what those twin those those quints were called, but that was not great. I mean, humanity is full of not great things that they've done, particularly to to to, to children. Hmm. And surprisingly, multiple births have got really the bad end of that. As okay. if there's a good end of that. Is there a good end of trauma? No, not really. Okay, so in the interest of getting this page uh, done quickly, I think I should cut 10.2 out before 10.1. Then we can kind of make more room on the page, mm -hmm. or on the cutting board. Okay, good, that's gonna be in frame. Okay. This is, this is turret 89. This is turret 87. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously. Obviously. And this, 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 this here, this one's Tara 88. Mm -hmm. Am I, am I going actually insane? Are they not the same turret? You know, there might be subtle differences that uh, a, you know, skilled craftsperson would find unavoidably blatant. Um, I make no such claim, Cleo. Good, because, you know, trauma. Yours, not mine. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, trauma as a verb. I'm just going to trauma you. <laughs> I'm going to trauma you so hard right now. Yeah, if you don't calm down and agree with me <laughs> that this is you, If you don't agree with me, that's, that's your mistake. The bricks are different. Mm -hmm. They're really not. They're really not. They might have like a slightly different number of sides or something. I don't know. I couldn't really tell from the camera. No, 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 no. They're the same thing. They're okay. Then they're the I don't, same. I don't. It's just like I'm not gonna argue with you on it. Good, good. That that's that's pretty much how this is supposed to go. If I tell you that they're the same, no contradictions. <laughs> yeah, I, I see five lights. <laughs> we were always at war with Southeast Oceania. Oh, I I I actually uh for a while owned are we at war with eurasia.com <laughs> and when they invaded ukraine 
Uh, when Russia invaded Ukraine, I was like in, uh, I think I was in New Orleans and I didn't have my computer with me. And I was like, I maybe need to update this website because it says no. But maybe I need to change it to, we were always at war with Eurasia. <laughs> <laughs> And this is why we're friends, Joe. Yeah, I know. I was like, I didn't buy this website to have to update it. Like, <laughs> like I did not want that. Don't <laughs> invade Ukraine, jerks. <sighs> no. That's what you get for being facetious, isn't it? Yeah. Did you end up updating the website? Well, we didn't actually go to war with Russia over it. We just let them take Crimea, so no. Which I'm not sure that was a great precedent to set either, but like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's my job to update websites that I own. Not, not... judge the ge geopolitical climate. Yeah. You know what? Mine either. See, that's the thing. Are we though, talking like... about the... Oh, go on. No, they're still talking about the horrible child experiments. Yeah. Just, and always... they're, they're, they're ranging into uh, horrible experiments full stop, which is... You know, if I wasn't with Joe, I would happily have this conversation, but I'm not going to get involved. Fair enough. Because it's one thing subjecting my stream to, like, stories about Hitler and all sorts of things. Different when it's in your stream. Oh, well, thank you, Cleo. Yeah, no. it's it's the more the modern atrocities like the Crimean invasion that that I want to talk about for my audience. <laughs> um, but you know, and that's the sort of thing too, though, where it's like you know, okay, like all these all these things like make me just want to scream into the void, and I'm like, but screaming into the void doesn't pay the rent. What if I screamed into the Twitch? Yeah, right? yeah, right. Like it works. It works. It works. It's fine. Yeah. Let's scream into Twitch. No one's going to blame us for that. I'm not actually going to scream. Don't worry, headphone users. Um, I mean, screaming is metaphorical at this point. I feel like there was something... Oh, yeah. When... <laughs> Do we let them take the country? Don't have to update it at all. <laughs> yeah, when Scar, got, when Scar got me with the soundboard and the creeper head inside of Bodum. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he got me inside, like, Mumbo's shop. And, I've seen. And I was like, <laughs> I, I have, last time I was in Bodum before that, I had blown up Grian's house with like a creeper. <gasps> and Pearl had to help me fix it. And it was like hours of work, right? And so I'm in Mumbo's shop and Scar sneaks up on me with his creeper outfit and the soundboard. And like, I think I actually <laughs> did scream. Like, it, like, <laughs> you, like, you definitely made a noise. Like, I, I was just like, like, just all, there was no pretense. There was no, it's just like, Oh no, I'm going to have to go into replay mod and I'm going to have to figure out block by block how to rebuild this shop that's incredibly intricate and I'm going to have to restock it because it's the stuff got, and it's full of expensive stuff that I don't have, which is why I'm here. I'm like, I'm just like, no, this is the worst possible scenario. Like, just all at <laughs> once, my brain was just like, this, my week is ruined. Like, your brain, <laughs> like, this your is brain going... was like, Let's just scream. This is all we're going to have to do. It's yeah. Just, just... Like, this is what true horror is. It's just like, <laughs> my week is ruined. <sighs> but like, yeah, like, if I'm just in our area and I get creepered, like, it's an annoyance. Or it, it can be a little bit of a surprise, but but there's no real fear. You know? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You know that if you had a massive explosion and destroyed my stuff, I'd be going like, eh. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing, though, is I don't even think, like, Mumbo would necessarily mind. But, like, there just being a, a hole where his shop would. was would be, yeah. It, yeah. Mumbo's fans would mind. Yeah. My fans would be just like, ah, Joe messed up. <laughs> Which is the appropriate response to Joe messing up. Yeah. His laughter. Not Craig Berger rabid. says, I've been to that castle when I was in college. I actually have a piece of it that <laughs> fell off while I was there. It's on my desk at home. So, okay, a few things. One, that's a little bit 
uh, uh, disturbing that pieces are just falling off this thing. So now if I visit, I know to wear a bike helmet. Um, two, um, I think that like if a piece falls off of a historic site, you're supposed to like hand it to the nearest staff member so they can paste it back on. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to walk off of those. I'm not here to judge, but like I, I legitimately but like maybe don't take historical monuments. But like just as a as a message for everybody else listening, maybe don't do that if you have the opportunity. Yeah, if you have the opportunity to steal part of a historic monument, one, just don't. Oh, just don't. Yeah, did you hear that Hobby Lobby had to send back all of the things they they bought all of these uh, Iraqi artifacts from ISIS, and the courts. <laughs> Yeah, so you know ISIS, that caliphate. For a start, attempt. don't fund ISIS. Yeah, first of all, don't fund ISIS. But uh, apparently, so the Hobby Lobby people were paying ISIS to steal all these Iraqi biblical era artifacts for them to put in their Bible museum or whatever. And uh, so a judge decided that they have to give them back to the Iraqi government. And it's just like yes, <laughs> it's nice to see the justice system works. It works slowly, but. <laughs> Oh, did you also hear about their fragment of the Bible, the, the the oldest testament thing? It was just sort of like this is like we have now have got the oldest testament and it's 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 it it's the gospel of can't remember which one. And it was just sort of like uh even if it wasn't fake, uh that has and they refuse to let anyone date it or anything. Yeah. So, you know, it was it was just sort of like, yeah, they they um they're making claims about it, about how it proves like God stuff. And um yeah, no, 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 it's 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 not the oldest, it's not the new the earliest one ever found because they eventually had to get people to legitimize them mm -hmm. and they did not. So I, I, that, well, that always, might be part like, of why they've been trying to buy real artifacts from Iraq. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, you don't give that much money to ISIS without a good reason. Oh, yeah. It's a fabulous reason. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's just like, come on. Come on. Like, don't fund terrorist organizations. At the point where you're God funding ISIS, like, maybe you have to start asking, like, are we the bad guys? Like. It doesn't matter where they were sourcing it. It went to ISIS. You and also, don't steal culture. Don't. I mean, I realise I'm a British. I'm, I, I'm a British and can't really say anything about this. But you know, don't take artifacts from their natural ho habitat, their natural home. Yeah. You know. Maybe, maybe give back the Elgin marbles, etc. Um. So you know, I'm. I'm not trying to be controversial, but you know. Maybe they should go back home. Mm -hmm. I literally don't have very much left to do at all. Okay, so somebody just abbreviated the word ramen to be like good morning, ramen, and I, I, my brain is I can't process that. It's like, well, good ramen to you too. Good ramen. Yeah, good ramen to everybody. Cup of the ramen to you. Yeah. Except for you. Only bad ramen for you. Oh, is that pastafarian? Okay. Oh, ramen. Ramen. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, Skittles, you may have come in on ISIS, but what we're saying is don't fund ISIS. I mean, I think we can go out on a limb and say don't fund ISIS. You know, people will judge us no matter what we say, Cleo. So we I might know. as well say don't fund ISIS. <laughs> but what if I want to fund ISIS? Well, don't. Maybe, maybe you want the wrong things, okay? Like, I know our society is very big on being yourself, but also could you please not? Just don't fund any religious fundamentalism. It'll be, it'll be better for everyone. Just as a just as a thought, it never ends well. Don't be yourself if it puts down others. I mean, yeah. If you being yourself makes others feel bad, maybe you're the problem.
Uh, Blaze the Warm Banana Bread says, wasn't the U.S. government the first people to fund ISIS? No, you're thinking of the Taliban. <laughs> I see how you can make that mistake. It's just another regime that we installed completely. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, back when, back when the Soviets uh, were in Afghanistan, yeah, we, we funded Osama bin Laden uh, in order to try and oust them. Woo. Everybody yeah, that's, a good that's how that works. I love how we still get viewers to our streams when we talk about stuff. Yeah. It's yeah. like... I mean, you're assuming that, like, I, um, kind of, uh, I don't look at the viewership numbers, but, like, nobody's been talking for a long time in my chat, so there might just be nobody there, basically. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like... Oh, well, they're definitely talking in my chat. They're definitely talking about things like... They're talking in your like... chat, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're the problem. How does Cleo know what I say to the mirror every morning? Because that's what my mirror says to me. Yeah. And then I go, yeah, you're right. I'm going to do it anyway. Because why wouldn't you? Uh, somebody says atheist fundamentalism ends up as communism. I'm not sure that that's true. Many communist no. regimes did have an atheist fundamentalist element to them in that, like, you know, like Stalin and Lenin didn't want the bishops and the church competing with them for, like, raw power like a lot of authoritarian regimes will become militantly atheist just because they don't like the idea of any sort of international group having any sort of sway yeah. over the population yeah pretty like, much it the thing is though i don't think that that's necessarily that's not necessarily something intrinsic to communism i think that's kind of intrinsic to authoritarianism I don't yeah know. i mean you get a lot of authoritarian groups just don't be authoritarian It's, it, it's hard to be fundamentalist atheist. It's just a lack of belief. Yeah, very much. Well, the thing is, though, too, a fundamentalist uh, is kind of a reduction to the fundamentals of whatever something is. Mm -hmm. And so a fundamentalist uh, Muslim is going to be very different than a fundamentalist Buddhist or a uh, fundamentalist Shinto, right? Like, yeah. There's kind of different religious systems kind of have different underlying fundamentals. So, like, a if somebody was described as a fundamentalist mathematician, the fundamentals that they're talking about would be very different from what fundamentalist Buddhist or, like, I don't know. So I don't, I, I don't know that how you would describe, uh, like, I think when people say atheist fundamentalist, what they're saying is, what if you had somebody who was a Christian fundamentalist, but they didn't believe in God? They're not looking at what the fundamentals of atheism are. Mm. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I mean, the fundamentals of atheism are... It doesn't no really have a dogma. provided evidence that a God exists. Yeah, that's, it doesn't, it doesn't have dogma. Like, a lot of no. fundamentalism is about, like, going back to the basics of the dogma. Is your day's Discord for patron subs or everyone? It's 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 patron subs because it's mostly about the uh, server. So yeah. No, no, no. Agnosticism is not a. Um, you got you got to be aware of the um, the difference between gnostic and. Um, agnostic and atheist and theist one is a belief claim one is a knowledge claim agnosticism is the the knowledge it's, agnosticism is um i don't believe that the idea of god is knowable you know you can be an agnostic theist that's fine you can be an agnostic atheist that's fine too uh it's, it's when somebody will become gnostic theist that i go where's your evidence Yeah. It's one of those it's one of those it's um I find a lot of atheists get that one wrong as well. Um they don't they're not entirely sure about the the differences between those words. 
Would fundamentalist atheism be similar to anarchy? No. No, but it's, it's completely independent of it. A political system and a religious viewpoint. So, yeah, like, I guess here's the thing, though, is um, it, let, let's go back to that theism-atheism dipole, right? So mm -hmm. we don't normally talk about fundamentalist theists. It's fundamentalist Islam, fundamentalist Christian. And once again, fundamentalist, fundamentalist Islam and fundamentalist Christians are wildly different in what their fundamentals are, right? Theism yeah. doesn't really have a lot of shared fundamentals across those different expressions of theistic belief, right? That's why I was saying, like, Shinto would be wildly different as a fundamentalist thing than the others. Like, yeah. um, and so I don't know if you can have a fundamentalist atheism any more than you can have a fundamentalist theism. Like, at that broad at that particular scale it's, it's too broad i think it's the term broad. fundamentalist kind of breaks down is my point yeah. i mean i think i think religion is one of those topics which is it varies so wildly between people and what they believe that you know it's really difficult to so Anna Bomb Banana says atheism goes hand in hand with humanism, but you don't have to believe in humans to not believe in God. You can hate yeah. humans and not believe in God. That's humanism is is not a religious belief. It is it is a system of belief. But you don't have to be a humanist to be an atheist. And there are some theists who are also humanists in a lot mm -hmm. of ways. And and like so I don't feel like like that's the thing though is as I feel like a lot of at least in America, the idea of what atheism is, is anything that's not Christian. Like, yeah. and so atheism is the opposite of Christianity in the eyes of a lot of Americans, which is a flawed opposite parallel. It's, it's not being a theist. Like, um, it's like, okay. Cause here's the thing though, too, is like in high school, I remember there were a lot of people, um, people love arguing about God in the South. Um, and there was you shock me. <laughs> yeah, there was one kid who was a pastor's son who who was an atheist, and the mm -hmm. other kids would be like, you know, how can you not believe in God when your dad's a, a pastor? It's like, well, your dads are wrong about a lot of things too, you know. Um, and it's like, okay, well, but like, how can you just not believe in any God when that's something that you were brought up with? Uh, how can you not believe? In and and he's like, look you guys don't believe in like thousands of gods all the time. There's only one that you do believe in. And I just believe in one less. I'm basically doing what you're doing, but with like a slight percentile difference. Yeah. You know? That's pretty much it. Um, just hit anyone else just hearing words and not really paying attention. That's, that's fine. fine. This is just background noise while you do your work. We're just talking while we do ours. Yep. Yeah. Um, atheism and agnosticism are not the same thing. That's what I'm saying. You, when you say atheists might as well are, are really just agnostics, so I mean, yeah, but most theists are agnostic as well. They just happen to be agnostic theists instead of agnostic atheists. Agnosticism is not anything to do with what you believe. It's what you know. Okay, it's a knowledge claim, not a belief claim. The agnosticism is is the idea of god knowable do you do, do you think you can ever under ever really truly know if there is a god out there that's basically it dang it i screwed up the score here and i knew that at like 14 because i remember my um tutor we had to write in forms and i said i was an atheist and he goes no you mean you're an agnostic and i was just like no that's that, like my religious claim is atheism and he was just like no you're agnostic you must put agnostic and i'm like but that's not anything to do with religion and, and he got really upset with me um and forced me to do it and i really wish looking back at it i had had more guts to complain i was quite timid as a kid well you're making up for it now cleo i know i'm still quite timid Ugh. Okay, 
so these two pieces I just cut out. Oop. One of them's missing. Smack in the mic, smack in the mic. Where right. did I put it? Oh, it's cool. Okay, it's drying over here. Cool, cool, cool. So 10 2 is right here. I'm going to flip that over so we can find it. Back to cutting things out. 10 3. Woo! Yay! Cutting things out is really important. It is what we do. Yeah, I, I don't know if you've read uh, many No, atheist, hang books. on a second. Atheist doesn't mean knowing there isn't God. It means you have not provided enough evidence for me to believe in your God. Agnostic, agnosticism is not uh, believing that the idea of God is knowable. So agnosticism and atheism are not the things. Atheism is, I don't believe that you have provided enough evidence. Agnosticism is, I'm, I'm, how many times have I explained that? Is that the third or the fourth? If God was ever discovered in a reproducible environment, I'll accept it. I just as expect quantum mechanics. Yeah, I mean, like, if you give me actual unfalsifiable well falsifiable evidence you know it's fine i'm quite happy to believe if you've given me enough evidence nobody has yet oh well, it's been like... way too long oh. sorry go for it what are you doing I, ah. you know, I've already forgotten. I, I had something about forgotten. the wall I was cutting or something, but like... I just, uh, JT I says it's been too long since your RE studies class to remember. I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's basically... It, it's the fundamentals, isn't it? It's like nobody should be imposing their religion on anyone else either way. Unfalsified, unfalsified... <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I remember what I was going to ask now. Uh huh. Have you read the Brandon Sanderson, uh, or have you read any Brandon Sanderson books? No, I haven't. There's a really good one called Warbreaker. And yeah. the premise of it, like out of all the Brandon Sanderson books, this is, in my opinion, like the most Douglas Adams esque. Um, I... The premise of it is it's about a god who doesn't believe in gods. Like, he's pretty right. sure that everyone's lying to him about him being a god because it sounds okay because he's just like um well, he, he's well, just it because he's just observing the things going on around him and he's just like i don't i'm not sure about this you know and uh yeah you know type of thing and he's uh super sarcastic and obnoxious which is why i love it um i'm shocked yeah but <laughs> uh it's called warbreaker I, th I think warbreaker was the name of it um mm -hmm. and um it's the book has so the different Sanderson books like they take place on like different planets and each one has like its own magic system and stuff. The magic mm -hmm. system in this one is really cool. It's based on like using color to animate objects. So like um, you know for example like an assassin could uh, animate like different scraps of uh, like like cut his robe or something and animate different scraps of parts of the robe to have it like climb up the wall and by sucking the color out of paintings as he goes past. It's like weird weird stuff but uh but yeah the the god who doesn't believe in gods so he's surrounded by priests and he lives in a temple and he's just kind of like you know i feel like if i was a god i'd have a little bit more freedom i don't know like this seems kind of mm -hmm. mm, yeah you know okay when you're talking about things like the law of spontaneous direct generation is you're talking about conditions on earth and you're talking about conditions in a universe that was stable and the thing is you can't say just because in my little bubble yeah this can't happen it can't happen ever and that's not true so just because in my current ecosystem this thing can't happen it does not mean that it could never have happened because and looking at the um the earth um 
uh, conditions have changed drastically over millions of years. So you can't really say that. Well, like, for example, it's really hard to make iron, right? Mm -hmm. but, but, like, a long time ago, inside of a star, a bunch of iron got made, and we're still finding it today underground. Like, mm -hmm. way more iron than that star needed. So, like, yeah, there's a lot of, like, localized phenomena that are either very uncommon or very common. I don't I don't know what the particular argument that person is making is, but, yeah, like... I'm not sure myself, in, in terms of what you were saying, like, yeah, yeah, like, there's all sorts of fun stuff with physics where it's, like, at extreme temperatures, this can occur, or extreme pressures, yeah. and we happen to not live in a setting like that. Oh. That's the thing, isn't it? It's just sort of, like... If you extrapolate from the current, you're you're missing the the possibilities of what could have been. Bad for and monkeys. Says, no, the stars really want iron. Oh, is the sun really mad about how much iron it dropped on Earth? Is it gonna come looking? Oh yeah, the sun's coming after. It's gonna come is by. What... <laughs> Oi, mate, you fought any iron? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you were talking crap. Is what the sun's gonna say to us? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay, there is one last turret that I have to do, but I've lost the roof for it, I think. Uh-oh. Which is fine. I'm, I'm happy being done. Mm -hmm. But this little, this little turret here... Do you just not know where it goes? Hmm? Or you know where it goes? Oh, I know where it goes, but it's got no roof, so I might just leave it. Oh. It goes on top here, right at the back. Well, wait, wait, wait. I think I see its there. roof parts. Uh, I think just bump the corner of the piece of paper that has those roof parts with your mouth. What, those roof parts? Yeah, those, 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 like, circular roof parts that look like they might go on that turret you just described. No, 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 there's... Oh, yeah, I think you might be right. You might be right. Hang on, let me have a look at it. Oh, no, those are little turrets that go on the corner of that roof, but the actual roof for this is gone. So, mm. I think I'm calling it there. I think I'm done. Because I can't be bothered to do that little bit. Wow. How much time have you... Uh, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. It's fine. I'll do it. I mean, you might as well. you got some trees I mean, there to cut out, too. If I'm not putting on a roof, I'm not putting on the trees. <laughs> uh, Louisa says, I've only heard about Sanderson. What's the underlying magic system? I'm very interested in world building. Um, well, so the Sanderson's books, they take place in, like, a shared universe, um, but, like, in different star systems. And basically the idea is that each star system has kind of its own magical properties and its own magic system. And throughout the series, as people start to interact between the two worlds, you run into weird stuff where you could take artifacts from one world to another and, like... Um, see the, the interesting impacts of compounding different magic systems. And so it's not like there's just, oh, there's one magic system. Let me explain it to you. It's like, there's like 11, but they're all neat in different ways. And the one in Warbreaker is about uh, turning color into energy. And like, so like uh, you could drain something colorful and turn it like a drab gray. Um, oh, and that one also has a... You oh wait 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 no the color is like a um uh, I've made this sound way more upbeat than it is the color <laughs> is just a way to what is it in chemistry where you speed up a, a reaction a catalyst catalyst the, the yeah. color is a catalyst the magic is actually powered by tricking people into giving you their souls <laughs> oh right yeah that's... yeah yeah so that's one of the other reasons the guy who um who who the main character who's a god isn't sure that he's actually a god because he's like you know once a week you have to like the priests have to convince a child to give me their soul so i don't die it feels like that's the sort of thing that like if i was a real god <laughs> the, the i would sort that out kids to feed me their souls like i don't know this just seems a little off to me <laughs> it's the whole yeah, book is great that does sound like fun I like the idea. It's it's one. a very fun book. It, I'm not. There's also a lot of there's a lot of like yeah, there's a lot of themes in there that are very terrifying in different ways. Now that I'm thinking about it, so maybe it's not just a romp, but like the. <laughs> it's not a romp. It's just 
terrifying. That character's point of so yeah, there's like a few different point of view characters, and that guy's parts are great in terms. Of, they're very very Hitchhiker's Guide esque. Uh, but yeah, now that I'm thinking about like the people who live in this society trying to survive point of view chapters, yeah, there's there's a lot of terrifying bits. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting that. Yeah, yeah I see Brandon that. Brandon Sanderson I... was the author. The book is Warbreaker. It's it's a pr- it's one of his shortest books. And so if you're like looking at like his stuff at the bookstore, or the library, and you're like, oh, this guy writes huge books. I don't know if I want to get into this. Read Warbreaker first would be my recommendation um, because it it stands alone. It's it's a, it doesn't depend on knowing the rest of the cosmology or anything. And uh, like it's uh, it's relatively short, and it's got some of his best humor in it, in my opinion. Um, what was the title of the book again for those people that missed it sure Warbreaker and that's one of the things I like about this too so it's about a guy trying to stop a war or am I conflating two different stories am I conflating two Sanderson stories people I'm pretty sure that these are the no this, this is the same one yeah yeah yeah, there's there's the guy who, who there's a guy who who's a god who doesn't believe in gods, and there's a guy trying to stop a war. I, I like stories about people trying to stop wars or prevent wars more than stories about oh, yeah. people trying to win yeah. them, because it's like it's a lot more like intrigue and politics and like infiltration and stuff like that. And like you know, the characters generally have motives like I'm trying to not see twenty thousand people die. Like that would be great. I mean, we like those people. People yeah. who try not to get people killed. Yeah. Bonus. Yeah. That's why I like the Expanse books more than Game of Thrones, because instead of being like, oh, yeah, who's going to win this big war? It's, we need to we need to prevent this Cold War from becoming a hot war, because a hot war is bad for everybody. Cold War is just bad for random people. I mean, the Cold War is bad for everybody, too. But, like, one step at a time here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, let's stop the war profiteers from turning a cold war into a hot war, and then we'll like try and you know work out. And has war solved a problem without starting a new one? Valid. That's valid. I mean, war causes all sorts of problems. Now, this is supposed to go around here. Like so, but it's supposed to have a hat. I've lost the hat. Uh oh. Uh oh. But I've got all these little towers here, which I could maybe steal their hats and just put like two with hats on. I'm sure you have some blue construction paper. You could just trace it. Oh yeah, yeah. That's the thing that I have. I mean, I'm not joking. You're a teacher, right? You don't have construction paper. Was was a teacher. Yeah, so you should have surplus construction paper that you know you don't. Why need. would I have constru- Why would I have construction paper? Oh, that's right. In your country, the schools provide the supplies. The teachers don't have to buy them out of pocket and then try to solicit, um, like, parental donations to make up the difference. Oh wow, that's a dystopia. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? I just sorry. I always forget how different our cultures are. I forgot that Joe lives in a dystopia. Yeah. Jesus. Which dystopia? Genuine... Dystopia. <laughs> That's horrific. That's just like, yeah, we're going to expect you to teach those children, but you, you know, not provide you with the resources to do so. Yeah. Well, that's monstrous. And I don't think the British education system is, you know, all that, you know, but it's definitely better than that. Yeah. Uh, Loopy says, have you asked the Expanse TV show as well or just read the books? Uh, I have watched the show. Um, I like the books a lot more, but the show, it's interesting seeing how they adapt the books to the show. So, um, Cleo, I don't know how much of Game of Thrones you watched. Oh, all of it. All of it. Okay. So the guys who wrote the Expanse worked in the writer's room for Game of Thrones Mm -hmm. And so when their book got picked up for a TV show, uh, Sci-Fi was like, so who do you want to have run the writing? And they were like, well, we'll just do it. And Sci-Fi is like, "Uh, yeah, book authors can't just adapt books. You have to have specialized people with specialized trainings. Like, you know, uh, George R.R. Martin didn't just adapt his books for TV. These other guys did. And and they're like, yeah, that's us. We're the the other guys. And... uh, (laughs) 
<laughs> so so they were allowed, which is very rare in Hollywood, to adapt their own book. Uh, but as a one of the things they've done is they've gone out of their way when writing the books that came out since the show started to, to mm-hmm. create things in the story that are almost unfilmable. Like I'm, every time one of their new books comes out, I'm like, they're they're just making their job harder. They're doing this deliberately. They're doing this deliberately. They're trying to show off how good they are. Like, oh yeah, you might think that there's no way to do this on TV, you know. But like as a book reader, I have to watch the show now to see how are they gonna pull off this scene or that scene. How are they gonna do this entire arc that like, you know, like like uh. So so like I I see the book and the show as deliberately very different pieces of media. Um, yeah. But, you know, I'm not as worried about, like, the, the show being true to the books or whatever as I might be with some other projects where I'm like, oh, wow, they really screwed over the author there. Because it's like, well, these are the authors. And they're intentionally making it very difficult to adapt for themselves. So, you know, it not being exact. It's like, well, it couldn't be exact. That's how they wrote it, you know? So mm-hmm. it's an interesting uh, media study, I guess, for me. Even if I'm not sure that... Like, I'm not sure that I always like every episode of the show, but I'm always interested in every episode of the show. Yes. Like, and and that has a value. Thank you, Goddess, for the six months of resubscription. And Tokobot has resubscribed. Welcome back. Um, this is going to annoy me so bad. But yeah, I've got these four turrets left to do. These four baby turrets. And then trees, which... I may or may not do depending on how long we've got. I mean, I think I think you're gonna have time. <laughs> you sure, Joe? You sure you're not gonna be immediately finished? No, I don't think I'm about to wrap this up. I've still got seven pages left to cut, Cleo. I'm still gluing things from like two pages ago, but they have to sit for so long that. Uh, Grace Winter says, I'm... "Any examples of unfilmable stuff?" In the later books, yeah, but I do I mean, spoilers. Like it's it's wild spoilers. To I mean, there are unfilmable things in other books, which I find interesting. For example, um, Terry Pratchett's *The Color of Magic*, mm-hmm. which has an eight an eighth color that nobody can describe. And and yeah, that's not know, a broadcast it's, it's safe gonna... color, Octarine. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's necessarily, necessarily filmable. So, you know, there are things like that available. Fantasy adaptations always make me nervous. I'm looking forward to the Wheel of Time series that's coming out on um, Prime. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't because... read that yet. Although I oh my goodness! Should. Don't start! Don't start reading uh, it. Have you finished it? Because uh, Brandon Sanderson, who wrote Warbreaker, is actually the author they brought in to finish the Wheel of Time books. Oh, I never finished it. It got it got to the point where an entire thousand page book was um, was focusing on like three characters, and it was just sort of like, no, they're not even the most interesting characters. So. I got fed up. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. But I'm excited. That's why about I'm interested in Foundation Sorry. series coming out soon. What are you doing next Wednesday if you're finished and Joe isn't? Um, I've got um some cross stitch Christmas cards to start getting on with. Um, because you know. I've got a massive cross stitch to to finish, which I can probably show you where where did I put the box? It's over there. I'll show you once I finish this lot. Um, the one that my mum was finishing. Um, because it's quite large. <laughs> Your partner finished the series a few months ago, and honestly, I'm just impressed. Like. I mean, I, I question some of the female characters in A Wheel of Time. Um, I have certain issues with the, uh, how they certain characters respond to men in that situation. And I'm just like, uh. so I'm interested to see how they work those because, you know, 
definitely written by a bloke who was quite old, you know? Well, you know, Amazon is famously headed by a young woman, so I'm sure that, you know, their production arm will be on top. Well, it, it's a case of we'll see. And their idea of, like, strong women was basically a... Just a rude. It's just rude. Um... Wheel of Time is trash. I don't think it's trash. I think it's uh, a product of its time. Let's be nice about things. Um, but yes, the art, the lot, the later books are trash. The later books are just like once you get past book four, it's just like, is this actually going anywhere, or are you just running around the country for just like literally no reason? Louisa says, adding to the reasons I want to become a famous writer, Joe mentions you on stream. Well, not to <laughs> tell you you don't have to go be a famous writer now, but like, hi, Louisa. <laughs> you can follow whatever dream you want. You don't have to follow that one. Yeah. I mean, it's really easy to get Joe to say your name on stream. Yeah. Especially if you tip via paypal.me slash Joe Hills or YouTube Super Chat. Because we are still 50 away from that next face camera expansion. People can barely see my Beetlejuice suit. Unless I, like, put the uh, arm here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Some books age better than others, yeah. I mean, I have issues with certain writers. And the issues are manifold and varied. But a lot of it is just, like... Women don't women don't act like that. <laughs> women don't act like that. That's how men think women act. And there's a lot of that. And especially men describing women. And it's just like, have you actually met a real woman ever? Because it does not sound like that. Hey Chris, how are you doing? Am I using a scalpel? Nice. Authors keep forgetting women are people. Yeah. Um, and in the fantasy genre, that is particularly apt. So that's... And then they're just like, oh, I, I made a fighter person, therefore she must be strong. It's like, no, you don't understand. Physically strong doesn't mean it's a strong character. It just means she's able to beat people in. Beat people in instead of beat people up, really? Oh, uh, Yeah. I was going to say beat their face in and then I just stopped. Yeah. And it just and I just kept going with other stuff. So, you know. No, oh, I like it. <laughs> oh yeah, female authors don't get off with this either. There's a lot of there's a lot of misogyny with female authors as well, particularly of the time. Um But you know, if you're going to if you're going to read a book try reading like a modern female writer maybe those will be less trash yeah i enjoyed the fifth season of no it's it's the name of the book is the fifth season oh okay i mean you can i mean you can enjoy trash so long as you recognize it's trash. Oh, no, I, I wasn't know, saying I it was trash. You, you, I thought you were looking for, like, modern sci-fi written by women. Oh, no, 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 yeah, I wasn't, but thank you for the recommendation. I'm just saying. Because so you were saying, you like, oh, you, you read something modern by a woman. Yeah, meet yeah, something, so I was read like, something oh, by you're, a you're woman something I read recently that would fit that qualification. That's fair. That's fair. That's reasonable. That's why I was but, coming in. But yeah, my, 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 my theory of this is um, just... You're allowed to read things. You're allowed to like trash. However, you've got to recognise that the trash part exists. And I think a lot of people just blindly say, no, but I liked it, therefore it can't be trash. No, 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 no. You're allowed to like bad things. Um, you're allowed to like problematic things. You've just got to recognise their faults. And maybe if somebody is, like, for example, a massive transphobe, uh, maybe don't advertise their stuff. You're allowed to like it still. You're just not allowed to. Well, you are allowed to, but maybe don't just promote it. Or consider the cost of promoting it. Yeah. 
Because, you know, for one thing, you're taking air out of the sails of other folks who are trying to do good work and don't necessarily have the established audience. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, like trying to be positive about other folks, I think, is good. Um, yeah. Just just be careful who you like and just recognize the faults in any media that you do like. Just don't imagine that everything's perfect because it's not. And just be open to the fact it's not perfect. The only perfect media is YouTube videos produced by Zombie Cleo. Fact. Diana Wynne Jones. I could never really get that handle on Diana Wynne Jones as 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 a writer. She was okay, but <laughs> female writers writing male characters can also seem very often i've never had that experience but then i'm not a, I'm, I'm not a man so you know i will i will bow to your better judgment but women writing male characters don't seem to have as much um of a problem i've noticed that i can't point to something and say that's obviously well, glaringly I, I wrong think, of i think what it would depends on say. the genre though right i think you're yeah. gonna see a lot more poorly written men in uh romance novels oh yeah written by oh, women yeah. than you are in fantasy novels written by women right like yeah because part of both genres i think to some degree is what if uh people of the opposite gender were more approachable or understood me better maybe yeah and so like yeah i, I mean I, I i think you could find shelves full of books of poorly written men in in the romance yeah. genre but for poorly written women that's where you go to the fantasy genre that's where you that's where you go to most genres i'm afraid yeah i mean yes fantasy but also horror and you know any other genre well, okay, so I will say, I may, and maybe this is because I don't read a lot of horror novels, and so, like, when I do read a horror novel, it's usually a pretty good one. Mm-hmm. But, like, are you specifically still talking about books there? Because I know in the horror yeah. film genre, there's, or in the horror genre of film, there's a lot of problems like that, but I don't, I don't know, like, well, yeah. They're, they're the same horror, the the thing is, is, is because in the horror genre, there's a lot of tropes. Mm -hmm. And the tropes specifically are Final Girl, for example, mm -hmm. and The Virgin, and, you know, all the stuff at the, in horror movies that, mm -hmm. for example, Cabin in the Woods was making fun of. Yeah. That, ex that exists in horror films as well. Um, but sometimes things like The Final Girl can be, you know, this girl actually knows what she's doing and she survived because she was smart, mm -hmm. which is less of a problem. But a lot of the final girl stuff is, oh, no, she was pure and virginal and therefore perfect, which is garbage. So, yeah. It's Peregrine's Orphanage was indeed classed as teen. Teen romance is a hell of a trip. I just want this project to be over now. I'm so close. So close to the end. Nowadays, people tend to be like, it's a trope, so it must be bad. Not all tropes are bad. Um, that's why they're tropes. But mm -hmm. you gotta, you got to choose better. you got, you got to choose like your tropes. And you got to try and subvert them, because otherwise, how are you going to keep things fresh? You're all right there, Joe. Yeah, no, I was moment. just... I was, so there is, there is a design... So, like, there's concepts of, like, tropes as design patterns. Mm -hmm. And 
I was going to mention the design pattern of like a pinball table having like in lane, out lane, two flippers at the bottom. That's like the standard design pattern for a flipper. Yeah. But the name of that trope is the Italian bottom. And I was thinking in the relation to like the other stuff we were talking about, I need to make it clear what that is before I just say, oh, like the Italian bottom. So. Yeah, yeah. I would probably. It's That's... like. The, the Italian Smart bottom move, is a that one. solid design decision for a lot of pinball machines. And for a lot of stories, there are certain ways you can tell the story where it's going to work better if you do things like... If you understand your bottoms. Like, explain the plot. Like, wow, a lot of stories explain the plot in a linear way. What a trope. It's like, yes, but that's also, like... Good good, good storytelling. Run. Yeah, it's a, it's a design decision as well. So... Yeah. Um, and so, so like, yeah, some of these things, it's like they're tropes because they're design decisions that work. But the problem is some when bad writers don't know how to write, they just copy something they saw work before without mm -hmm. understanding why it worked in that context. And they frequently recontextualize it to a, a place where it no longer functions as intended. And that's difficult to then deal with. You put the fun in dysfunctional. Mm-hmm. You're glad I'm live. Oh, you haven't heard the conversations yet. We had some mighty fine conversations already today. Okay, where does where does ten five attach to? Because this piece is so thin, if I don't glue it to whatever it goes to right now. No. <laughs> Okay. Are you okay, Joe? I okay, this okay. attaches in a very silly way to a piece that has to spiral around another piece. Okay, you know what? I was going to say, let's, let's make sure we get this one attached before we forget it or lose it. But no, let's let's move on. Let's ignore that one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, just... it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be where it says step... it's supposed to be. I we'll just... through. We'll pretend it doesn't exist. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Morning Blossom says, I mean, the hero's journey is a trope, and I think it's still good. Yeah, I really like the part when the hero is called to adventure, and then he denies the call. He's like, nah, brah. I gotta go nah, drink brah, a Nah, brah, don't need to. I don't even know if we still have Zebas. I don't know. <laughs> that was like a stereotypical like uh, frat boy drink that I think was already out of production by the time I got to college. But it was like people would still make jokes about it. Okay. 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 Fair sorry. Enough. It's okay. I just don't understand it. It's American humor. Yeah, like An American. I, I, I humor think it was. Is... Um, it was one of those drinks that they were like, oh, yeah, you can't put that much caffeine and that much alcohol in the same drink or something. <laughs> or am I thinking of something else? I might be thinking of... I don't know, but I oh, like That was a idea. different one. Putting caffeine in alcohol just makes you get a wide awake drunk instead of a sleepy one. I was thinking of four locos that had too much caffeine and too much. Yeah, locos, er, loco is Spanish for crazy. And so it's like, what if we had four locos in one can? You might think that's too many locos. And wow, did the federal government agree. <laughs> <laughs> that was pulled I off see. the shelves. Zima was okay. just alcohol. Okay, got it. But was it good alcohol or bad alcohol? You know, I've never actually drank Zima, so I don't know. Okay, chat. Somebody had a Zima at some point in their life. I know. I know you. You definitely did this. What was it like? You've not read any patch yet. Uh, I strongly so you're missing out. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, my favorite, if you don't want to get into like the Discworld stuff, one of my favorite ones is The Island. Um, which is a, it's a singular novel about, um, a, a child that loses his entire family 
and then has to rebuild everything and then there are people on the island and it's 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 nice but in a tragic kind of way you've never had alcohol nor do you ever want to well that's very very uh british to have a a story about a child trying to make it on the world on their own like uh that uh david copperfield you know was kind of like <laughs> Oh, did you I see mean, that David Copperfield with, uh, was it Dev Patel in it? No, we did not. It's got, uh, Hugh Laurie and, um, the guy who played Doctor Who, Peter Capaldi, uh, in it as well. Very good. I'll put it on my list. Zima was an alcoholic flat sprite, a bit ahead of its time considering how popular hard seltzers are now. Gotcha. Yeah, I watch a uh, theatre group mm -hmm. who have a, a bit about something called Mike's Hard Lemonade. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of... Mike's Hard Lemonade was like what replaced Zima while I was in college, and I never really drank it because it was not good. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> I feel like Kilio says something or asks a question and then forgets it by the time any and he's able to react to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm not going to deny that. Cleo forgets things? For sure. Never. I feel like my, my memory, since I've stopped teaching, has just gone completely out the window. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my attention span was never great. Now. It might be Ooh. sleep loss. If you're not Maybe. keeping a good schedule. That's what most of mine is. That and uh, my digestive issues. Yeah. It's like, I mean, that's reasonable. Have I eaten lately? Have I not eaten lately? <laughs> if it's if it's one of the two, it's probably that. Yeah, I get that. I get that one. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's an alcoholic lemonade. No more, no less. Is that Mike's Hard Lemonade or is that Zima? I feel like it's probably both, to be honest. I mean, we had things like Smirnoff Ice when I was when I was in school oh, in in uni. That. Smirnoff Ice and Bacardi Breezer mm -hmm. were the things that every every like let's be honest, every girl used to drink when I was when I was at uni. Mm -hmm. Um. Both tasted like ass, but then I don't like alcohol, so... Yeah. Wait, Cleo does crafting? Cleo does crafting. Cleo does crafting with Joe! So, Cleo, I, like, I don't want to ask... I, I've avoided asking questions about, like, where you went to school uh, in terms of, like, obviously you don't want to de-anonymize yourself or whatever for operational security mm -hmm. reasons. But, like, could you tell me a little bit about the, the caliber of institution you went to? Um... I went to one of the old polytechnics mm -hmm. and um which was basically um it was a university for uh so so we had like in the old history we had like tiers and it was a university when I went there mm -hmm. um and the polytechnics were the things that people went to who couldn't get into university proper mm -hmm. um I went there because um, I went to see two places, and um, I was there was a better university that offered me a place, mm -hmm. and I said no because when I went there, because I went, I, I actually started as a psychology degree, mm -hmm. um, psychology and criminology, mm -hmm. um, and they decided that they were going to run a psycho a psychological test on me, mm -hmm. and it felt kind of abusive, so I decided not to go there. Makes sense. You don't want to be involved um, in the department. Oh, yeah, I, I wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. um, it was, it was one of the lecturers that was trying to do, like, get, gather evidence for their thesis, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and so I went to the lower, lower university, mm -hmm. but because it was um, more interesting. And then, luckily, it happened to be um, one of the, best physical um geology d 
departments in the country. Oh, that's cool. So when I just so when I switched my degree, which is not really done in the UK, most people just go go for whatever they went in for. Mm. I just I had to spend an extra year at uni because mm. I decided psychology and criminology wasn't for me because I didn't like the law stuff, mm-hmm. um, which is I suppose fair. Um, and then yeah, no, I I got I got a very good degree from an average sort of university. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Can of Russia donated a dollar, says, when my dad, grandfather was in the Soviet army, he used to drink Armenian moonshine. Compared to that, he said anything tasted good. Well, uh, there was a thing in um, at my university we had called kangaroos, um, which is basically blackcurrant cordial. Uh, what's that? Oh, Advocar. And, uh, like, some peach schnapps and mm-hmm. that was vile so i i I, w- I would argue with your grandfather there so yes i thought i thought you were gonna say oh we had a whole department for armenian moonshine it wouldn't surprise me god uh... no but i really enjoyed my university degree it, it mm-hmm. might not have been the kind of university that i could have gone to because mm-hmm. i was i was always really smart um academic wise so i got quite a few offers Mm -hmm. but it was it was the one that i felt was probably best for me at the time so yeah because like i wasn't sure like like the drinking culture at the different tiers of schools in the united states is kind of very wildly different you know what i mean yeah um because like here we have like state schools like the university of tennessee or the university of florida or whatever Mm -hmm. and those would be um more party schools but that doesn't mean like the private institutions don't also have like a big frat and drinking culture too mm-hmm. but like yeah it's it manifests I mean, itself U- in different ways you know what yeah, i mean yeah the uk has um a drinking culture regardless mm-hmm. so you know it's kind of it doesn't really matter where you go yeah you don't even I have mean, to go to college to enjoy a drinking culture over there it's it's fantastic yeah I mean, if I was to do my time over again, I'd probably go to what would be considered a more prestigious mm-hmm. university, but um, but that would be because I was doing a different course. Mm-hmm. So you know, well, I was is... quite happy where I was. Yeah, got two one. Nothing to sneeze at. What's a two one mean? Oh, um, uh, you you there are three classes of degrees. Um, mm-hmm. You get uh thirds which are your lower group degrees you get two twos and you uh two ones and you get firsts i i just missed out on a first which was annoying because i oh i had anxiety and when it came to defend my um uh projects my final year projects i froze and i couldn't answer any questions and you know screwed myself out of a first i'm sorry yay that's all right it got me where i wanted to go so mm-hmm. <laughs> it's one of those things isn't it you just you you never you never perform the way you want to perform in life i think that's fine look at what i'm doing now it's nothing to do with geology so mm-hmm. and i got to go to tunisia and do geology in tunisia oh that's awesome so yeah i mean like my degree was like if you want right and i'm saying this to anybody who's who's learning stuff if you want to ever have a degree where you just go out and do stuff geology geology's fun and if you if you've got a geology a level do it even if you're not going to pursue geology in the future or if you just the trips are amazing the trips are hilarious Mm -hmm. And yeah, I really wish I'd gotten to travel in college or since college. Or at all. Or at all. Did I tell you about that Norm Macdonald quote that's really been bugging me? No. So Norm Macdonald's a comedian who died in the United States recently of cancer. Mm-hmm. And um, he had this uh, line in like the last chapter of his autobiography or his memoir or whatever. Yeah. He's like. You know, at the end of the day, I think I had a really good run 
comedian uh, or comedy opened a lot of doors to me that I never would have had otherwise. I was able to travel the world, except for South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia, or Antarctica. <laughs> but almost nobody gets to go to Antarctica, so I shouldn't complain. And <laughs> I'm just like, like, that's kind of how I feel like, oh, yeah, I get to travel all over the country for conventions. But like, and like, I still haven't been to Mexico, <laughs> you know, like, I've been to Quebec, but I haven't seen the rest of Canada. Like, yeah, yeah I, I, I feel and forgive me if I'm wrong. That is a very American problem. It is because your country is so large. You just go to other parts of the country as opposed to, yeah, you know, other places. But like at a certain point, like I'd also like to go to other places too. Like, can't it be both? And the answer is with the amount of vacation days Americans get, no, it can't. You don't it get cannot. enough vacation days for both. Pretty much. Okay, Joe. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, done. I'm not holding this on. I'm trying to hold the gluing thing. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. What? I'm done. I'm in awe. That that looks really good, Cleo. Um, the only thing that's missing is obviously that, that tower, but yeah, it's... It's finished. It's finished. Oh, wow. I know. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I was going to say, yours doesn't have a surrounding hillside skirt, does it? Huh? I mean, it's got... Hang on. It's got that. Gotcha. No, no, no. Okay, but it doesn't, like, have, like, the hill. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, no. That's different from mine. Okay. What tower is missing? The, the, it's, no tower is missing. This <laughs> roof here mm -hmm. is missing. But everything else is done. Gotcha. Except the trees. I'm not going to do the trees because, you know, no bushes. No bushes. No bushes. I know it's got places for bushes, but I don't want to do bushes because... Yeah. Well, now you can there's go a limit. over here and help me, Cleo, is what the chat's saying. <laughs> go help okay, Joe uh... hold this stuff he can't glue. Hang on. Hang on. <sighs> hang on. There. What do you need? <laughs> I've got lots of things. What do you need? Corrales won't be happy. There's mighty fine crenulations. Yeah, now I've just got to do it on the big castle. Yeah, I'm going to let you take point on the driveway since you seem to have that more uh, together than I do. Yeah, I'm just waiting for it to glue. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, go provide Joe extra hands. Hands! Um, you know, you can very nail tired. the trees to gem. <laughs> And have her do them. Yeah, that that's that's something she'd appreciate, definitely. She loves definitely. doing trees. Okay, so she loves them trees. <sighs> Trying to hold this down such that it actually glues. <sighs> Yay! Everybody, throw some hands if you got them. I don't. Towards Mine are Joe. Holding glued stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 I get that. I get that. There's not a lot we can do about you, <laughs> just in general. There we go. Was hoping that would happen. Hands. Big hand. Big hand and little ones along the bottom of the screen, which yeah. I like. Yay! What well, now? Where to put it? IRL. It's going exactly where it needs to go, which is anywhere the cats can't squidge it. Mm -hmm. Um. Because it's, it's a bit, it's a bit large. I might work on mine a little bit more off camera so that I can switch over to doing. You've said that before. Stuff with you, you said that before. Well, but I was kind of waiting, and I didn't want to. I wanted to see if I kind of naturally caught up with you, and now that it's pretty obvious, I won't. <laughs> what? I mean, it is. I mean, you're not wrong. Like you're up not wrong. until this point, it was kind of plausible I might catch up with you. <laughs> was it was it okay I, I i think very highly of my own ability and uh, <laughs> it makes me so bad at scheduling oh i'm very tired now yeah we, we have been and it's half before six hours. it's half six now yeah okay well 
Oh no, can I let go of this long enough to see who's online? Who's online? Let me check. Okay. I'm just going to see what's going on here. Uh... Okay, well, I know who I'm sending my people over to. Okay. Well, I guess then I will send my people somewhere else to be contrarian. I mean, you're quite welcome to. I mean, I, I'm, I'm very aware. Yeah. <sighs> Alrighty. Okay, I'm yeah. going to start my ending stream. People are suggesting uh, impulse. The problem is we ra we raid impulse, like, all the time. I try to mix yeah. it up. So yeah. this time we're going to raid Music Man, or I am. Oh, this, was... Joe's going to raid Music Man. Yeah. I'm going to raid uh, Cam. Because yeah, Cam's so you guys can go watch whoever you want. So. Yeah. Go to either go go to wherever you like, um, but yeah, yeah, okay. We're gonna raid, so we'll see you lot next time. Um, have a fabulous day, Indeed. and um, yeah. Keep we'll try not to move these castles three box to the left. Okay, I'm stopping my stream. I already clicked. <laughs> Bye.